Wait, you're hitting the button? Like the stream go live button? You're hitting that button? Yes. Wow. Music. Alright, let's announce my fucking stream. Um, my fucking stream! So you might notice... Just turn the music down a tiny little bit while we're actually talking. You, you might have noticed the subtitles look a little different and look a little bit like how they looked when I was over at Puzzes. Uh, that's because I did a full fucking update of OBS and I had to update all my plugins. And so now uh, it actually has the option for me to have like punctuation and capitalization and stuff. So that's cool. I forgot to change the name of my stream. Oh, oops. <laughs> I forgot to update the stream title. Yes, you heard Puzz. Puzz is here. <laughs> Hang on. Hi, I'm Puzz. I'm here. Just for a little bit right now, I gotta go to a, a meeting in a little bit, but then I'll probably be back and just hanging out while I do some homework. Uh-huh. Uh, literally everything else about the stream is accurate. I just wanted to update the stream title to be like, hey, we're doing quests, probably. Uh... me and announce my stream properly i'm getting distracted by all the different little things there we go uh, i have this post in different servers and stuff there we go post in here Yo, thank you, Frankie, for that resub. Frankie, I know that guy. I hope Holly gets visitation from random event wizards. Damn, I hope a scary wizard comes and talks to me. How you doing today, Frankie? I hope your day's been wonderful. I know it's probably just about starting for you, but all the same. Where else do I announce my damn stream? I always forget. One of these days, I'll actually have the forethought to, like, get all my stream announcement stuff typed out in advance. Uh, not today. It's raining? Hell yeah. It's been cloudy here today, but not much in the way of rain yet. Uh, it's been raining a lot the past week or two, though. Thank you, full cap, for that reset. Much appreciated. Give me just a quick sec to, uh, post this on Tumblr and then I can actually properly talk to people. It's stream time. It's stream now. Uh, happy evening. I'm doing quests. Post image. 23 months of hollow tones. Shouts out to all I am women in the world. Yo, shouts the fuck out. Thank you, Blue Graves, for that resub. Much appreciated. Um, have I posted my shit everywhere? I think so. I think so. Probably. Probably. Good enough. <laughs> People can find the stream if they want, or not if they don't want. Okay, hi! <laughs> hi! Welcome to stream. Welcome to stream. Home of the stream. <sighs> yeah, uh, Mist Heart. A really nice thing they've done recently is, uh, I get Cat with a Wooden Sword for the resub. Escape tunes. A cool thing they've done recently is they've just straight up done, like, a proper official launcher with, like, a just straight up Jagex account that has better security features than your normal just fucking RuneScape login, and you can have multiple characters in the same login. <laughs> and also the launcher, like, by default supports fucking RuneLight. It's just like, yeah, you can just, you can just launch it from here, which is very cool. So I can just straight up use that there. It's convenient. Yo, Brady! <laughs> oh, TTS did not like saying that. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, my man. <laughs> um, so I had spaghetti before stream, and it was fucking... Tell them about the spaghetti, honey. It, it was fucking weird spaghetti, hun. Uh, how is, how is Puzz's volume sounding, by the way? Does she need to adjust any of that, jostle any of that? I have her at max volume. You might want to move a little closer to the mic, but... 
yeah, let me get it a little closer. I Once I'm back later, I'll be probably, yeah, I move my mic a little closer. I will be moving around less when I come back. Okay. Because I, well, I'll just be sitting and reading instead yeah. of moving around doing other work. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I talking about? Spaghetti. Right. Uh, this song is too scary. Far too scary. Actually, no, it's kind of awesome ah! for my spaghetti. So... I made spaghetti tonight. I was like, let's have some fucking spaghetti. I have a craving for spaghetti. I've got some tomato paste, and I've got some tomatoes, and I've got a bit of broccoli I want to use up, and I've got, like, the dregs of a bottle of white wine I want to use up. Uh, thank you, Dinner Calzone, for that reason. Much appreciated. So I was like, let's just throw some stuff in a pan together and see how that turns out. Um, and so I have this box of spaghetti. Like the pasta to use, not like the sauce. The sauce is just shit I throw in a pan and some meatballs. But I have this box of spaghetti and I'm like, oh, this is some kind of like whole wheat looking pasta. That's neat. That's interesting. Maybe I'll use that because like we're basically out of the other spaghetti. Um, and so I put it in the little like, you know, we, we have like a fucking tube spaghetti. that we put the spaghetti in and there's like a little flip top at the top of it with like little holes for like individual serving sizes, taking them out really easy like. Um, anyways, the point is, I poured it in there, and then forgot that it was a different pasta I had put in there, and I was like, oh, well, it's spaghetti. I know how you cook that, I've cooked that before. It's just the same way I cook all my normal spaghetti, because it's just normal spaghetti. Completely forgetting it was a, a different box of, like, a different kind. Uh, and so I cook it for the normal amount that I usually do, and I throw it in my pan, and I get it all tossed together. And I'm eating it, and I'm like, this is weird. This is fucking weird. This tastes weird. The taste is fine. The texture is weird. It's not crunchy. It's like super, super silken soft. And I'm I'm nibbling on it and I'm like, it's not bad. I don't dislike it. It's like holding its shape perfectly. It's not like mush or porridge or anything. But it's really, really soft and tender noodles. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why is it like that? Uh, a little way into the meal, I realized this straight up just reminds me of, like, noodles you would get in, like, a fucking stir-fry. This just reminds me of, like, noodles you would get in, like, a pad thai or something. But slightly thicker. Only slightly thicker. They were pretty small noodles. And I was like, this is so fucking weird. And so it was a weird meal. It tasted alright. Um, the... The little bit of tomato paste and white wine that I threw in added more of like a, more of like kind of like a sour, like fruity sour kind of note to it, which wasn't, wasn't bad. wasn't unwelcome. Um, it was different. It was a good different. Uh, and the pasta was weird. Not the bad weird, but it was fucking weird. <laughs> weird dinner, man. <laughs> Straight up weird dinner tonight. Like, I was just sitting here like, how the fuck am I meant to stream after such a weird dinner? I can see more disapproves for that resub. And thank you, Carnolius, for the resub as well. Much appreciated. So how the hell do we follow that up? What the hell do you talk about after weird dinner? <laughs> thank you, Cryptid Chiroptera, for the resub. Oh, I know what I can talk about. So, uh, I guess... <laughs> The little little website, maybe you heard of it, name Awelka Home. Oh, this is a big reset message. Sorry, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe you maybe you've heard of website name of Welcome Home. Maybe maybe you haven't. What the uh, fuck is that? Oh, so it's like So imagine a website. Okay, okay. I'm and and, and there's pictures on it. Mm -hmm. But not just See. pictures? Sometimes there's, like, video what? and audio, too. You're fucking with me. No fucking way! Swear on my mom! Swear on my life! My god. Um, so anyways, they, 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 they did, like, a Halloween update. Now the cat is out of the bag that I, uh, I, I helped contribute to that. I did, I did voice work for it. Hee <laughs> That was, that was, that was real fun. Being contacted by, uh... By clown, I suppose by clown through Puzz, like by proxy, just being like, hey, do you want us to pay you to like read stuff in a storybook voice and then cackle like a witch? And it was like, man, I'm doing that shit for free for fun already. I'd love to get paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, ooh, the ads are happening, by the way. There's the, the, the early ad block to prevent the, the mid roll ads going on. Uh, thank you, Moravenik, for the 25 months. Much appreciated. 
Uh, it, it was a little bit of job directly made for me, which was, uh... I felt so seen to be reached out to, like, hey, we think you're perfect for this. Um, pretend you're, like, a librarian recording on an old, like, cassette for kids, and also then you have to cackle like Gruntilda, and it's just, like... It's, it's nice to be seen. It's, it's, it's nice to be seen. It was a very fun recording session. Everyone there are some real, real sweet folks, real nice folks that do real cool work. And it was, it was, it was an honor to get to join in on that. Uh, where could you check that out? Here is the link to the website. Have fun going through it. It's a fun little, um, scavenger hunt isn't quite the right word. It's, um, interactive multimedia storytelling in the sense that you got to explore the website to like, you know, find the different little bits and pieces and try and piece together the, sto the story and stuff. It's a, it's a fun little yeah. thing to look at and peck away at. Did I get to meet Wally? Yeah. Uh, he is very sweet and he loves saying fucking shit and piss ass, um, which they don't let <laughs> him say on TV. This is not official, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And it's legally, I cannot endorse this. <laughs> it's really sad how um, Barnaby was meant to get on a plane to fly all the way to Seattle, but um, they couldn't leave the terminal because there was no room for the plane to take off yet. Um, so he's basically stuck in there forever and they have to cancel the show and it's really sad. Um, so sad how that happened to Barnaby. I'm trying so hard not to make too many jokes like that. But the temptation is so strong. It's like, <laughs> it's not my project though, so I feel a little bit bad every time I do it as opposed to like making HLVR jokes. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if any of you guys heard, um, Dr. Coomer was at a baseball game this weekend and like there was a, there was a really bad incident and he got really sick. He was throwing up blood. Um, he went to the hospital and basically he's not alive anymore. So we were, ha we're canceling Half-Life 2, sorry everyone. Sad. Well, there's other doctors. I hear Benry's plane's gonna land pretty soon, though. Was it a bad hot a dog? Now. Yeah, he ate like seven or eight. Yeah, his meat pig is doomed. Yeah, uh, it was, it was, it was real cool to get to, to work on a project like that with some real cool folks. And I see a bunch of people already being like, oh yeah, so you're gonna be in the next thing, right? They're gonna, they're gonna have more of you in the next one. And it's like, well... You'll see. If they want me to. I'm certainly on the roster. But I'm not going to give you any secret, sorry. I'm eating. I'm eating a lemon tart. Always busy eating a lemon tart, okay? Come on now, I'm busy. This. I can't tell you how the story ends if I'm eating a damn lemon tart. I'm busy. Come on. Hope the narrator character comes back. I mean, it's not so much a character IMO as much as it is just like, this is just the voice that reads in the children's product. It's a narrator. Have you heard of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cassette tape. But it was fun to do. So I mean, hey, if they want more stuff to be narrated, I'd certainly love to. They know that. I know that. We'll see. Did I do VA work in something? Yeah. Um. I don't know if you've heard of Welcome Home, but it's a cool little uh, online I'm art project, serialized story type of thing. Today, but I wanted to pop in to put my stuff down. Thank you for the many months of joy, Holly, Holly. Hey, hell yeah. Thank you, you to Remember Draconic for that resub. Was that? What'd you say, huh? I was just saying you can look at it on your screen. You sure can. Sorry, I was letting a, a sub message play out. I'm still fiddling with, like, audio setup stuff, and I just have, like, a, the music thing playing in a Discord call, uh, so Puzz can't hear, like, the alerts happening. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it is what it is. If I was a Muppet animal of Welcome Home, what sort of creature would I be? I mean, they can be anything. Some of them aren't even animals, so... I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it, because I'm, I'm just a person. I was gonna say, I think the funniest answer is for you to be the human guest star in your continuing trend of regular human woman. Has anyone ever told you you were a fucking genius? 
<laughs> yeah, probably. I'm <laughs> I'm the Peter Falk appearance. <laughs> I'm in one episode. <laughs> Specifically Peter Falk. Specifically Peter Falk. <laughs> Not any other Muppet guest they've ever had, Peter Falk specifically. I appear and I'm like, hey, I, I tell you, Wally, it's real sad what's happening to you. Oh, I'm sure they'll bring back your gumdrops any day now. Say, you know what would cheer you up real good? Maybe you buy a watch of five. Maybe that'll cheer you up. I got like, my shitty straight jacket on. Straight jacket? What fucking jack? You know what I mean. <laughs> the big jacket with the, what they sell the watches inside of. Trench coat. Like a trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> straight Sorry jacket. not a straight dark Listen, jacket, my love. <laughs> it's a jacket. Dracket? What's wrong with me? It's a jacket. It's, it's straight. You know, it's got that shape to it. <laughs> oh, we've literally barely even started and it's already going to be one of those streams. The fucking spaghetti did this to me. The fucking spaghetti did this to me. The spaghetti did this to me. Get her ass. <laughs> Get her ass. We sure trench coats are straight? I mean, first of all, you go look at what a trench coat looks like. Second of all, I have bad or good news about the majority demographic of people that wear trench coats. <laughs> Due to the majority of people on the planet Earth. <laughs> We do need more lesbians in trench coats, though, I agree. Um, there's something else I wanted to talk about. What the fuck was it? Oh, yeah. Um, so the fucking Steam Next Fest thing happened this past week. And like every time it happens, oh, yeah. I have a horrible curse where I'm like, oh, it would be fun to like stream that. I should go and stream that. Every time that happens, I end up not doing it. And it's for like different reasons every time. This one, uh, it was a mix of, I forgot it was only a week long, and then they like pull all the demos down. And um, I've had, excuse me, I keep like hiccuping. <laughs> and I've had a really unfortunate, sudden, like uh, depressive episode come up. So it's like, oh, I don't have the fucking energy to do much in the way of streaming or like looking for things to stream. And then also I got back into RuneScape. <laughs> And so it's just been kind of like, well, I could do other stuff, but I could also... I could also play RuneScape. <laughs> so... <laughs> you could also play RuneScape is the thing. R RuneScape is an easy thing to do when you don't have a lot of energy and you're not feeling super uh, up to doing a lot. It's just kind of like, oh, this is, this is easy to pop open and play with. Uh, so, once again, a Steam Next Fest has gone by and I have forgotten to stream it. Voice, say, J just one more thing for me. <laughs> You hear the story of Dracula? You ever hear the story of Dracula? J J Jackula? If I say Jackula, it sounds too much like Jackulate. Bit cancelled. I don't think he's allowed to know what that is. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. Um, so if anyone did see anything cool uh, in Steam Next Fest, hey, you can feel free to talk about that or post about that in the Discord or something. If there was cool demos for things. Oh no, I wasn't talking about Dracula, Miss Turd. I was talking about Wally. Wally Darling from Welcome Home. I don't think he's allowed to know about that. What's I talking about? Right, dead. Well, I'm gonna wait for this resub message to go by because people keep sending paragraphs when I'm trying to talk! my GP getting Unless tomorrow's job interview goes well, in which case it'll just buy members. Yippee! Thank you, Convo Winter, for that resub. Good luck with job interview. And if that doesn't go well, good luck getting a bond. I should look into getting bonds at some point. Um, I just bought myself a whack ton of membership because I like playing on and off without having to worry about it. Um, but yeah, if there was any cool demos you checked out or anything that was particularly neat, feel free to feel free to tell me about it or talk about it in the Discord or something. Because uh, I'm always on the lookout for for fun looking stuff. I, I know I was checking out. Um, in one of our group chats that we have, Bugs was talking about uh, stuff that they were checking out. And hey, thank you for the anonymous gift subs. Much appreciated. Uh, some stuff was cool. Some stuff was eh. But it's cool to hear about all the same. Hey, hon, I've been talking a lot. You got anything you want to say before you got to hop off for a bit? 
I have to say is, I'm running late. I have to hop up now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I love you. I'll be love back. Love you too. See you later. See ya. Bye. Puzz has got to hop off for a, for, a, for a scheduled, I believe it's a therapy session uh, tonight. But uh, she'll probably be back later, unless she is too tired, in which case, no. But that's okay. I just, I, I figured I could tell her, like, hey, yeah, you know, you can you can hop on if you want. It's going to be a low-pressure, low-commitment, just kind of chill and hang out type of stream if you want to. And it sounds like she want to, so I think that'll be fun while we do uh, other RuneScape stuff. So you'll probably hear her again a little later. So everyone say thank you and bye to my wife. I guess in that case, we can get started with the streaming bit of the stream. What are my thoughts on Jagex being sold again? I have literally no thoughts about it, because I don't know any specifics. This is the first I'm hearing about it. 99% <laughs> of things, you could say, hey, what's your thought on this? And my thoughts are, I don't know anything about it yet. But I literally have not heard about that, so no clue. Generally, I try not to go, oh, this is they're being sold, so it's definitely a bad or a good thing. Uh, about any sort of merger or acquisition like that in video games. It's unfortunately just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, given the state of the industry. <laughs> uh, and if bad stuff happens, it happens. And if bad stuff doesn't happen, it doesn't. But uh, I suppose it's not terribly surprising when even, you know, Studios that seem to be doing successful end up doing something like that for the sake of having an easier time paying their employees. If I'm looking at it, you know, in a in a best case scenario, naive kind of way. I can just start the stream with this music playing. Hi, welcome to the stream. We're gonna play RuneScape now. Excited for a lot of stuff that's gonna come out still? Me too. <laughs> Me too. They were like, they were talking about how they're putting out like a new area soon and like a hunter's guild and like revamping the hunter skill in a bunch of ways. And that's exciting because I know fucking nothing about hunter as a skill and I don't really understand how it like fits into every other skill you have in RuneScape. <laughs> it's just kind of there and you just kind of use it to get resources you could get in other ways. So it's just like, okay, well I can play with it I suppose. Get seeds and stuff. Uh, so it'll be neat to have it be expanded on and have a little area you can go to to get, like, uh... payouts and things like that. Classic RuneScape still gets updated? We can get to that. I'm doing my intro. Let me do my fucking intro. <laughs> you keep sidetracking me by saying interesting things and breaking up interesting conversations. You guys gotta be more boring when I'm trying to do my intro. Stop being cool. <laughs> Anyways, hi, welcome to my stream. Talk, I don't know, talk about, yeah, talk about fucking taxes. Talk about your mortgage. Pigeons? No, pigeons are exciting. <laughs> white bread! Talk about white bread! Um. Welcome to the stream. I wanted to play RuneScape, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, I realized... I'd, I have been needing to, like, do a later-in-the-day RuneScape stream for, like, a fucking week or two now. And it just kept happening that I was doing it, like, earlier on in the day. And I felt bad, because I got a couple of RuneScape sicko friends that are usually, like, night owls, and I was like, well, I want to do a stream that they can catch live if they want to. And also, I, I don't know, there's something cozy about playing this game late at night with a nice little warm drink and, uh blanket wrapped around you. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just nostalgic for that, but it's nice. So that's, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna, we're gonna have a nice chill time. I'm gonna do some quests. Might level smithing a little bit, because I gotta get some, some weapons and armor and stuff. Um, and you know, maybe you're, maybe you're doing some grinding of your own, whether that's in RuneScape or getting work done in life. Maybe you're, uh, getting ready to go to bed. Maybe you just want something relaxing to listen to. Or maybe you're just a fucking pervert like me and you like watching RuneScape. Hey, we got you covered on all those fronts. You had so much crab and corn soup? What the fuck? I want that. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I hope it was delicious. 
Crab is good. Man, Crab is fucking good. <sighs> stream intro. Right, I'm getting sidetracked again. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. I hope you like it here. Uh, if you're new, hi, thanks for stopping on by. I hope you like it. If you're not new, you forgot to send in your essay last week, and I need it on my desk by tomorrow. That's as much as I can extend it for you. So I got it in soon. We're just some stuff from a packet? Ah, stuff from a packet can still be fucking good. S s sometimes a good-ass meal is you got some shit in the fridge or in the cupboard, and you just prepare that and add extras to it. That shit's good. Anyways, hi, welcome to my stream. Uh, read the rules. Review the rules. Don't break the rules. Don't be a nuisance. Be nice. Um, have a good time. Don't tell me what to do. If I want help, I'll ask for it, but otherwise, just take it easy. <laughs> Remember. The blessing of not having to play the video game yourself is also the curse of you can't play the video game. So don't- so you don't gotta- you don't gotta tell me how to do it. I have my own fun. Oh, you can have yours! Um, and... You can give me money if you want. I like getting money. <laughs> hey, I like getting paid. Um, if you want to support the stream, you can subscribe, you can give out gift subs, you can give bits, you can tip directly through Streamlabs and PayPal. Uh, never mandatory. No obligation. Never feel like you gotta. I'm joking here, like, hey, I like money, but, like, never feel like you're forced to. You, you, you give me that stuff if you got the means and you're comfortable with it. But, uh, hey, you know, this is my main source of income. It's, uh, how I pay my bills and get groceries and save up for things like visiting my wife and moving out so that I can be closer to my wife so that I don't have to spend as much on flights to visit her. Etc, etc. Um. So yeah, you know, never forget. These streams are, uh, what they are because of folks like you. So thank you all very much. You just used your Prime? It's fucking fine by me. It's it's a normal sub. I, I get the ex exact same payout I get from normal subs if you use a Prime sub. If, if you got that shit, you could use it on me. You could use it on other folks. Uh, all that said, though, I mean, a bunch of folks have had, like, big subathons recently. Wayne finally had the last day of his. Uh, and also, we just spent, like, the other day encouraging people to give money to my friend Jake so that he would be able to properly, safely move out and not have to worry about being homeless. So, like... Hey, if you're a little strapped for cash, like, stream tip-wise, I get it. It's cool. <laughs> I'm just glad folks are here. Hope you're having a good time. Thank you, uh, Poeto9, and thank you, Aversoul, both for those resubs. Thanks for the Bezos dollars. Uh, now that the fucking, uh, Twitch Partner Plus thing is rolled out, uh, I'm getting more money from subs, so I can more confidently be like, yeah, you can... Subbing is a pretty good way to support me. Um, it was already nice to have, like, a monthly estimate of, like, how much I would have to budget with, but also, like, yeah, I'm getting 70% of the sub split now instead of 50, so, like... Yeah, that's awesome. I, I, I do, in fact, like getting more money. <laughs> the forum exploration on Wayne's stream was good. You guys did a great job. Aw, I'm glad y'all liked it. I am so sad that I had, like, a really fucking bad depressive episode last night and couldn't hang around One for that. For my life had watching your streams. That's... Why are you keeping track of that number? That's awesome. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mokamura, for the gift sub to uh, Crunchy Qua. That's very generous of you. Have I considered setting up sub through Discord since the percentage is better? Eh, it's too much to fiddle with, and then it's more things to worry about taxes-wise to, like, compile. I'll live. If people want to give me money on the regular, with less of it going to, like whatever the service is being done through, they can just tip directly. They can just fucking tip me five bucks a month, you know? Like, I don't- I don't need to go through more bells and whistles. I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> popping in? Well, hi. Thanks for popping in. Uh, I would kindly ask you not talk about other streams that are happening while I'm trying to do my stream, though. Thank you. Even if it is one that a friend is doing. It's, uh... 
is a little bit inconsiderate to go to someone else's show and be like, hey everyone, by the way, this other show's happening next door. Just, uh, you know, be mindful of that, etiquette and all that. I'm gonna cut the scary music, because we're gonna listen to RuneScape music. You're gonna make a Zaw? Name it after fucking... Green bean casserole. I don't know if that's gonna fit in the character limit. Name it after some damn beans, though. Let me get uh, RuneScape logged in. And then we can hear the music. Switch over to the game view. There we go. Let me get a uh, side stream up for a pause whenever she gets back. There we go. All right, cool. So last time, last time technically was on Trog stream. Um, if anyone missed that, it was a fun little thing we did where we just kind of, I fucking forgot about the Xemnas ETA. And what fucking OBS source is this? Get off my damn screen! His plane crashed! He's not coming! He's sick! He's sick, Mario! <sighs> Anyways, um... Last time, technically, was on Trog stream, because we were just doing a little, like, let's all hang out on the same stream and, like, play our own individual things and just chat. It was kind of like a podcast type of thing, and it was a lot of fun. And I literally just did mining and smithing. You didn't miss any of the juicy stuff. I was literally just running to the iron rocks here in Al Karid, banking it. Imp, 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 imp. Imp. I still need those fucking beads. My health is a little low. Hopefully the imp doesn't kill me. What's the bead count? I've got two. I don't remember what color they are, but I've got two. Uh, so for the sake of someone who asked, did I manage to kill any imps last stream? You mean on Trog stream? <laughs> I don't think so. Which is really funny. <laughs> I don't think I got a single one, because they all teleported away. <laughs> Anyways, for the sake of at least one person who asked earlier, uh, this is Old School RuneScape. It is um, a fork of RuneScape based on a version of the game in 2007 that they brought back and started updating again because people missed uh, the old RuneScape. And it ended up being successful, so they, they kept running it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. You know, even just putting aside the whole, like, yeah, it's nostalgic. It's like the old thing I used to play. Um, they've got a lot of fun systems in it, and they've added a bunch to it. Uh, that makes it a real fun time. Did the imp fucking teleport into the cow pen? No, it's right here. Okay. You bitch. You dickhead. Like, private servers, but official? Yeah, kinda. It's a good time. I like it. So then I, I got back into it, so I'm playing it. I get a I get in on a on a kick to play it again every now and then. And right now is now and then. I guess we're going all the way over fucking here. Whatever, man. Get out of this fucking house. You fucking jerk. Um, I'm playing an Iron Woman. Which means I can't trade with other players. I gotta get all the stuff myself. It's fun! But it means for some quests like, uh, Imp Catcher, I have to fight all the imps myself and get all the beads myself, and they're not a super common drop. So that's fun. Oh, we got a we got head. That's something, I guess. I guess it... We got head. You like... You like when that happens? Is this anything? 
Fuck Pikmin 4, I need her? We're gonna go to Farrock. <laughs> Wait, wait, is that another- Oh, it's a goblin, never mind. I saw that streak of reddish-brown, and I thought it was an imp for a second. I got excited. If you played this game, you think you'd default to being an iron person because it would require communication otherwise? Not really. No. You don't gotta chat with people to, like, do trading and stuff. There's, there's the Grand Exchange, there's the Auction House. You, you literally just go there and you press a button that says, I'll buy this or I'll sell this, and then it happens automatically. The main thing about Iron Man is that you don't feel like playing with the Grand Exchange. Playing a normal account at a certain point turns the video game into a video game about playing the market. And playing an Iron Man turns the video game into a video game of, um waiting for random tr chance to make you do a pog champ in real life. Are you able to pick up items from other players? No. Uh, with very few exceptions, like there's a couple of quests where you have to. Like, um, the other stream we did, uh, I fucking see this person over there. I am Suki. Nice to meet you, Suki. They're like camouflaged. I thought they were trying to sneak up on someone. Now nah, they're just playing. Um, I did a stream stream? I did a quest on a previous stream where I did Shield of Arav, which is a stream where you do- a stream? I, I can't speak English today. It's a quest where you do have to work with other players, and they have, like, things you can do as an Iron Man to still complete that, because you need it for other quests. I forgot to take down Imp Detected, but I mean, I did detect an Imp, so. Yeah, it's my weird fucking pasta making me forget how to speak English. You know how it is with spaghetti. You're about to know how it is if you don't. We'll take out this imp and then I'll take down Imp Detected. <laughs> yeah, I, I do really enjoy playing uh, Iron Man. It's fun to have to try and scavenge for your own goods and then it's fun to be like, Yeah, I got something cool. Let's see what I can do with it. Fun to see what content you can do when you're slightly undergeared. Thank you, Wet Zoo Fan, for that 10 month resub. Much appreciated. On these subs. An Iron Man for your first guy ever a few days ago? Nice! Can I write five or six paragraphs about why I chose fighter's boots? Yeah, I can do that in about two sentences, boss. Fighter's boots look fucking epic killer gnome boots. The other boots look kind of corny. Too garish for me. I'll wear other gay things. Speaking of which, I'm here in Farrock. I can talk to the one guy that gives you the gay clothes. Alright. Imp defeated. And hey! We hammer. I literally already have a hammer. But, I mean, I can use it. Is that shit still from Security Dungeon? You fucking bet! <laughs> that's where you- that's where you get the boots and the, the- the heap of cash. Do you know not to give people your password? Alright. Here's a chunk of change. Don't get killed by this level 300 dog, by the way. That's- that's the hardest part! <laughs> Alright, my pin, hang on. Um... Where is... Sure, you guys can look at spam. Okay. Alright. Hey, it's spam! Let's kill that guy with hammers! So I have... Red bead, and I have black bead. I'm missing two more beads. White bead, and... Something else? Bead? Need a hammer. Let's do something with these bronze bars just to get some XP out of it. Uh, oh, and the anvils are right here. I also thought they were farther from the bank. 
made your first account? Think you may just avoid the GE most of the time? There's um, a plugin you can get for Runelight. I think it's one that Mira was messing with. Um, it's called Bronze Man. And what it does is it prevents you from buying things on the Grand Exchange until you, like, pick them up for yourself. And that could be a fun middle ground if you're like, yeah, well, I, I like having the Grand Exchange around, but also I want to, like, still try and get my own stuff to some extent. Then, you know, if you're not enjoying it, you can just turn that shit off, so. You can, you can give that a go. Let's make nails. I'll probably need nails. Everyone loves to come here and use the hammer. The hammer or the anvil? What are my combat stats looking like? Bad. Small. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I got that good. That good for nothing. I made myself a nice little cup of tea. For stream. It's, uh... One, what I don't normally have, which uh, my, I think my dad got from, like, a friend at his work. I was like, oh, I don't want this, you can have it. It's nice. Went to look up Bronze Man RuneScape, typed in bronze, and one of the first Google autofill results was Bronze Age Pervert? Oh, me when I'm looking up, like, uh, old ways they made bread and stuff, honestly. I feel that. I feel that. You want to give OSRS a try? It's it's fucking free. It's it, it's it's free. You can start it off free. If you want to get to the real meat and potatoes of the game, you gotta pay for a sub or buy a sub with in-game money. But other than that, it's free. All right, let's make one iron axe. I now have an iron axe, and I've leveled up my smithing. Alright. I want a fucking scimitar. So now I have a decent weapon to, like, actually train up my, my melee with. Um, what else can I make? I'm probably gonna want fucking arrow tips for fletching. Let's do that. You forgot to do your testosterone? Do your damn testosterone! Get your damn juice! I think, um, I don't think a bond is 9 billion gold. Do I think I have a better weapon in the bank? I don't know, I don't really care. You don't need to, like, tell me what to do. Again, please, I'm tapping the no backseating sign. You can let me do shit if it's inefficient. Do I, do I have to straight up make a fucking, here's the rules of my RuneScape playthrough. Number one, I'm an Iron Man. Number two, I do whatever the hell I want. Number three, if anyone in chat asks why I'm doing this or why not doing this, everyone in chat has to point at them and laugh. That's the rules of this playthrough. That's my RuneScape gimmick playthrough. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it, it's not a big deal. It's not that important. Fair? Alright, thanks for understanding. Efficiency is the enemy of fun? Kind of? On, on the one hand, yeah, there definitely is a trend of people that play video games getting real into, like, optimizing it and kind of optimizing the fun out of the video game. On the other hand... Have you seen RuneScape players? <laughs> on the other hand, have you seen RuneScape players? <laughs> Many of them do, in fact, really, really enjoy find the most optimal way to do something really goddamn goofy. And that's awesome. Good thing about Iron Man is it takes out some of the efficiency aspect. Eh, some of it. To some degree. Some people still try and play their account like as efficiently as they can, but like... You still do have to worry about, what like, leveling up. You still gotta worry about having good enough equipment to do certain, uh, encounters and stuff. But I get what you mean. Uh, let's go back to making arrow tips now that I've got a square shield I can use. 
Finally, my, my dinky little wooden shield can go to bed. Yo, Duke! Oh shit, what a steal! And you'll even give it a gold trim too? I'm sold, I'm in. Alright, so here's my password. Five. 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 For legal purposes, this is a joke. Please don't ban me. <laughs> Efficiency and creativity aren't strictly enemies. Right. They can be. They don't have to be. You can have fun doing certain things as efficiently as possible. You can have fun doing certain things goofing around, doing it however you want. Different strokes for different folks. That's what's great about being alive, you know? Some people do definitely feel a compulsion to do something as efficiently as they can, and then they stop enjoying themselves with it. And then some, some people are like, no, no, no. When the number goes up literally as fast as possible, that's when I'm having the most fun. That's neat. Yeah, the little squatting is real fun. I could totally have my run energy on, but I'm not, not going too, too far. a message. If you want to be hyper-efficient, that's fine. Forcing that mindset on others sucks. I mean, no one was forcing that on me. The, the, the person who brought that up and made me talk about this wasn't forcing it on me. It was just... Speaking of numbers, I'm good, you know? Wowee! Thank you, Battle Axe Proficiency, for the 31 months. Good fucking username. I feel like I don't say that enough. Good fucking username. Efficiency and fun are a detective and a thief who are enemies with homoerotic tension. Damn, okay, you got me interested in optimizing my account now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. I'm listening. You tell me no, 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 in a gay way. I'm already running around on all fours. I'm out here. <laughs> Sure, I get it. Hey man, you wanna you you want me to help you beat this boss faster and like get more rewards more quickly? Not unless you're gay, man. What? Not unless you're gay. RuneScape is the best background noise for salmon running. Let's go. Part of the fun of these streams is knowing that like it's like the Picross streams. They're... the things happening on screen are largely a background thing for anyone watching. And then the stream is like a podcast where we just kind of chill out and hang out and talk about whatever. Yo, thank you, Disaster Gate Crisis, for that resub. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I got like a thousand arrowheads. Let's make some nails. I gotta start leveling construction eventually. I gotta, but I wanna. I want a damn house. Yeah, RuneScape music is real good. It's just like the Picross streams I sit and watch intently. Hey, I know some folks out there certainly do, and that almost makes me smile, <laughs> so hell yeah. Not to be controversial, but Lupin the Third and Zenigata are the hairiest men ever inked. Good for them. Good for them. Favorite- oop, level up, what do we get? Uh, iron battle axes, okay. Favorite thing is watching Holly play OSRS while you also play and also have Melvor Idol running, my god. You are, like, on some advanced bullshit. That's scary. That's scary. I approve, but that's scary. Yeah, I, I like when people are like, yeah, this stream is fun to hang out and chat in while I, like, you know, get ready for bed or get stuff done. Get work done. Makes me happy. Sometimes it's fun when a stream is like, yeah, this is a thing I want folks to, like, you know, pay attention to and be engaged with. And sometimes it's just fun when it's like, yeah, let's all just chill out and do whatever we're already doing. 
and sometimes it's nice background noise, and some sometimes you hear me making a joke about fat fucking tits, and you go like, damn, what? What is she talking about? I heard tits. I'm, I'm tuning in now. I'm focusing again. What's wrong? Hey, what's good? <laughs> I know my audience. I know my audience because I know myself. We're calling this wisdom. They're calling her the Zen master of tits. This isn't anything. <laughs> It's everything? Good. The Dandori master of tits? Yeah, they're calling me that, given how much I'm getting done with him in a short period of time. Ayo! <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling so crass tonight. Yes, the multiple hammers. The slightly desynced multiple hammers. Alright, level up. What do we got? Iron chainmail and oil lantern frames. Let's make one single oil lantern frame, because I'm gonna need that eventually. And it's right back to making nails. Everyone is doing other idle things up to the stream, meanwhile you're fucking up this carne asada? Let's go! Oh, Nox, I'm so jealous! <laughs> I'm still so sad about leaving California. I mean, for the very obvious reasons of I miss my partner and I want to hug my fucking wife again. But man, it's so much harder to get easily accessible good Mexican food here. <laughs> it's so real out here. I need my fucking millions so that I can get a delicious meal. Someone really rich has to appear. I forgot to put on the fucking, uh, the tips bar. Hang on. I had that turned off. Why did I have that turned off? People can look at what has been tipped already today. Um, right. I had that turned off because I was doing, um, my setup for, um, for Trog Stream was I was just broadcasting through the virtual camera on OBS. And so I was like, oh, I don't need, like, my, my, my own, like, alerts or anything on his stream. Did someone have a cool pet? I hadn't really noticed. There's some there's some fun critters you can get as pets in this game. There's one that I really want. Two that I really want. One that I really want is the fucking Bloodhound, because it's got a cute little hat. And the way you get it is random chance through, like, really difficult clue scrolls. And that's gonna be a hell of a fucking grind, so maybe someday. Um, the other pet I really want is the beaver. Because, specifically, the next update they do for the forestry stuff, they're adding transmogs for the beaver that let it turn into a cute fucking pheasant. I want a damn bird! I want a damn bird! Part of why I'm so sad, there was, like, someone did beaver mogs are already in the game. Not the ones for the pheasants, though, right? But the one that turns it into a pheasant and a, and a fox, those aren't in yet. Because those events aren't in yet, right? Those, those are coming, like, unspecified soon. Oh, right, it's herbivore. Cute. And also someone's cat. <laughs> Anyways, um, there was a fucking fan concept for a new skill I saw a while ago. Um, for, like, a bard skill. And, like, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, I'm sad this isn't in the game. Valve add this, please, and give me one, kind of thing. Um, but the thing that makes me the most sad about that like, proposed skill thing not being in the game. Is they were also like, yeah, here's a good idea for a pet they could do for a thing like this. It's a songbird. And I was like, man! I would love a little songbird following me around. What do you mean? Man! I can make a kite shield now. Let's just do that. Alright. No, that's a- that's a- I click square shield. <laughs> I'm a fool. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, back to nails. I would love a little BB. Maybe it'll be in the polls one day. I'm not holding my breath too much. Because I think Jagex is, at least at the moment, probably more interested in, like, putting up their own new skill ideas once they're done with, like, sailing, if anything. But also, I'm pretty sure the guy that did the, um, the bard, like, skill idea is, like, someone that they're straight up, like, working with for the new area they're adding to, uh, to, to, to Corend and Zaya. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, like, yeah, initially a dude, like, that same, yeah, the, the, for Varlamore. Like, I, I was reading a blog post and they were talking about how, like, yeah, you know, some of this stuff is, like, very directly inspired by, like, a post someone made a while ago. And so we're, like, working with them to, like, incorporate some of their ideas because we really liked the idea and the community did, too. And, like, hey, I think that's the same guy that did the, uh, the bard thing. I'm just saying. You could also collaborate with them and see if people want bard in the video game. And it was a cute little idea, mostly because it was like, yeah, um, here's like an in-game thing that can help te teach people the combat triangle, and it's got a bunch of utility to like help with gathering and crafting, and also is like a resource sink for a bunch of those. Um, and then also just has a rhythm game built in that you can play, things like that. And they were like, yeah, it does different things that add on to the video game in interesting ways. Hey, thanks for the tip. Hey, Holly, I appreciate you. Well, that's kind of you to say thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna check who that was from. That was from Professor Sean. Thank you very much. A few updates are like that. Yeah, I know there's certainly been precedent, precedents for like, hey, here's a thing the community really liked and so we're working with the person that proposed it kind of thing. Again, I'm not holding my breath for Bard specifically, but if sailing ends up doing good and uh, they want to add more skills, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, that could be pretty cool. I level it up. Damn, I don't get anything at that level, okay. I'm, I'm interested in sailing. I haven't, like, paid any attention to, like, any of the sailing idea polls and posts and stuff like that. I have no idea what it's going to entail. I'm excited on the basis of it being a new skill and new stuff to check out. Sailing's been a joke for 10 years. Yeah, I think that's part of why it did get, like, voted was because, like... I don't think it's the only reason why, of course, but, like, at least in part, people are like, Yeah, you know, it's the meme of sailing. What if it was real, actually? And so now it's not a meme anymore. It's just a thing you can do. So I think that's interesting on that on that basis alone. I hope it'll be fun. Certainly with like the the quality of like all the new stuff I've played in this game so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they could do something cool. I haven't played like a lot a lot of the super new stuff in OSRS. Um a while ago, I did Guardians of the Rift on, like, another account. That was fucking great. I loved Guardians of the Rift. Uh, I like all the stuff I've seen and heard about the forestry. The, the forestry stuff specifically has me hopeful that they can do something to, like, smithing as a skill to make it less... To make it less the way it is, I suppose. <laughs> I think smithing and fire making are like two of the skills that need the most uh, looking at in terms of like changing how, how they work and what they do. People on the OSRS Reddit hated forestry. I gotta be real. I mean, I normally don't necessarily care over much what other people think about stuff. I don't give a shit what Reddit thinks. <laughs> Did we just get a raid? I think we just got a raid, but it's not doing the notification about the raid. Damn, what? 
Twitch, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm <coughs> excuse me. I'm assuming it was a dollop raid because I saw dollop in chat. It's a shadow raid. Let's go. We're getting shadows, raided, legends. <laughs> Thank you, dollop. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. We are chilling, doing some RuneScape. Um, I ran out of things to smith. I guess I can just work with iron stuff for now and level that up a bit. Oh, hang on. This dude needs something. Who the who the, who the fuck? Bro. What? What? Okay. Uh, all right. You watched Yuri, it was cool? Awesome, we were talking about gay shit just earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna take a wild gander here and guess y'all were watching more I Favor the Villainous. I gotta get on that train, I gotta check that out. I know Joy's been ranting and raving about how cool it is. I've been- I've been literally meaning to hit you up specifically and be like, Hey, hit me up! <laughs> Let me see the goods. I'd love to. Then I never end up having the time that I want to for it. You know how it is. Okay. Uh, quests now. Where's my quests book? Here it is. Let's do... Right, there was... There's a couple that I can start off. I, I finally figured out how to sort this by, like, quest difficulty. Yeah, someone's out here doing their fire making. Godspeed, dude. I'm... I'm burning. She is burning! Uh, let's see. I still gotta do fucking Imp Catcher. I don't think this is the Imp Catcher stream, but, uh... You know, I can certainly do more things. There's this one quest over by, um... By Lumbridge that I haven't done yet. That gives a bunch of, like, crafting experience. I'm doing on fire spell. Yes. All right, let's head out. Oh, I saw someone in chat mention she loves to cook, she loves to eat. That's another one I got to start reading. I've heard so much good stuff about that series. It looks so cute. And by the way, it's fully raining out. Okay, rats are biting her, so... It has a girl who is large? That's literally part of why I started paying attention to it, Frankie. <laughs> it's, it's literally that simple. You tell me, hey, my story's got large woman in it. And I'm like... I'm interested. I'm listening. Tell me more. Good writing, a nice pace, a girl goes, hey shit, I'm lesbian outright. You love to see it, you love to hear it. I'm interested in this. It got turned into a live action show recently? Oh, that's cute. I had no idea. They got a tall big girl for her. Good. 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 I gotta look that up now. <laughs> that sounds like a fun watch. Alright. It's time for a fucking murder mystery. Oh! It's just help, help, and then your choices are yes or no. No. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What has happened here? We were invited to a house party on an island not far from here. Something felt wrong about the whole thing, but we went anyway. The house seemed pretty creepy, but everything was going fine and we were all having a good time. And that's when we got attacked. I... I tried to save her. This guy's name is fucking Huey, so you already know something is up. Kiwi bought me enough time to find an old boat. I went back to get him, but it was too late. I'm scared that he won't make it. Oh, wait, yeah, from... 
hang on. From this angle, there's just a straight up gap between... <laughs> between his legs and pelvis and his torso. They fucking... They, they gored him. They cut his legs off. He needs help! <laughs> you have to do something. You go to the murder house. What do you want me to do? You have to bring them to justice. The boat we escaped on is just over there. You can use it to get to the island. Okay. I'm sure nothing weird or bad will cra or crappy will come of this. They can't keep getting away with this. Let's get on the boat. I've done this quest before. It's fun. It's cute. Um, you like slasher movies? You best start liking in slasher movies. You're in one. Still playing the jolly music. Hey, man! Who is that in the shadows? Hey, man! What's what's good? How's it going? Dude, imagine if Scream was in this video game. What would you do? How would how would you how would you react? How would you handle it? The door is securely locked. I'll have to find the key. And so you gotta go for a walk around. It's like, oh damn, where could it be? Here's this fountain that I can seemingly path find to. Guys, what one is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy Seek? Scary Blue? Zumbo Sauce? Ban Ban? Nab? Nab? Alright. What's in the fountain? Nothing. Here's a bucket. We we'll want a bucket. Presumably. Well, it wasn't that. Let's keep looking. Here's a barrel of rainwater. Look, it's Sid! Woohoo! Party on, bro! Oh, huh, that wind totally just felt like somebody breathing on my neck! Oh, <laughs> not cool, bro! I'm feeling woozy! I see the light! My time! <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Flurk. Sid collapses to the ground in a stumpled mess. As he falls down, you spot something shiny fall out of his shirt pocket into the barrel of water. That was horrible and so drawn out. <laughs> oh, wow, he's still going. I think he's actually dead this time. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you doing this? to find a way into that house and stop this maniac. I wonder, I wonder what it was I saw fall into that barrel. 
literally that whole bit like, oh man, his death is so drawn out. Is, is, he, is, he, is he good? Is he actually dead now? Literally that whole bit made me think the end of this quest was going to be like, yeah, it was all just a prank. They were all just fooling you. No, he's actually dead. He, he's actually quite dead. Barrel of rainwater. The barrel is full of rainwater. I can't see what's in there. Fill the bucket. Key at the bottom of the barrel. Well, that's the key to the door. Hey, look, there's just a straight-up Bandos God Sword in there. That's cool. Man, I've heard those are really good if you're a high level. I should probably get that. That'd be a great thing to get at the start of my account. It's just a Bandos God Sword. And it's all for me in this house. I can't wait to grab that and not get killed for it. Before we do that, though... It is break time. <laughs> it is break time. So I'm just gonna log out real quick. And then I'm gonna put on some other music. While I go and uh, have a stretch. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna stretch. Get some more water. Get some more tea. Do the same for yourself, because we've been sitting for about an hour-ish. We'll be back real soon. I'm just gonna be playing three minutes of ads while I'm away, so you might as well get up. See you soon.
a second cup of tea. It's a different one this time. Made a, a pot of green tea as well as the, the one that I had earlier. It's good. That's the tea I normally have. Greenscape? We get back to it? We do it? Let's do it. I'm logging in. I'm logged in. We play. I can open large door now. Here we are in a scary house. So we gotta... We gotta solve the damn mystery of a scary house. Hey look, someone's in there! Tayten! She looks a lot like Huey. What the? No, dude, a weird guy appear. Gurgle. No. Man. What's this, a note? I guess I should read it. I hate when girls die. Take a copy of the note. Isn't murder just a work of art? Beautiful yet haunting like the blade of a knife as we wander through the valley of death. I wonder what it could mean. Hmm. Weird. Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, those stairs don't look so safe. Oh, there's a, there's a knife on the table. Let's take that. Nice. Nice. We open the store. Hey, thank you, Scorpy, for the raid. Hey, did Scorpy beat Baldi? Did he do it? Is he the, is he the Baldi champion? Yes? Awesome. Hey, thank you for the resub. Shekrio. Awesome. Uh, I have to stab this painting now. I got a hidden storage compartment, so I'm going to reach in. And I get a key. Thank you, bad at video games, for that resub. Yeah, I'm doing a quest. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I got a red key. Yeah, it's damn red. Let's open a red door. And your dog yelp for the resub. Playing with escape. Also, Scorpy slapped his bald little head, yes. That's what you do in that game, is you slap his bald head, right? I never played it. All these basics seems fun enough. Playing RuneScape. Yeah! Thank you for the resub. Examine barrel. Danger, explosive. What's in these crates? Nothing. Thank you, Spoose Cow. I was, I'm not running at all, I'm walking. Thanks for the reset. I appreciate it. We got sacks. Uh, and thank you, Buran Buru, for that brand new sub. Much appreciated. Thanks for stopping on by, y'all. This is, uh, this is more of a, a chill, laid-back stream tonight, so if you're, uh, if you're into that, hey, come on and hang out. If you're heading out for the night, well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. You've never seen RuneScape before, what's it like? So everyone tells you it's an MMO, and that's a load of shit. RuneScape is a point-and-click adventure game. Where you do puzzles and stuff. Attempt to light the fuse. My God. It's too These damp. Runes can scape. What the? If only there was some way to dry the room, like lighting up the unlit candles or something. Which is very funny. Given that they're just candles and not like, you know big sources of fire to heat this place up. Thank you, Hollyhawk Holly, and thank you, Sahu, for the resubs. Baldi's bald scape. That's a different one, I think. I think that's a different one. Let's light up these crandles.
Oh, we gotta do them fast enough or they get blown out. I see, I see. Okay, let's see. That's lit, that's lit, that's lit. Now, let's try lighting this. Uh, thank you, Hayden XO, for that brand new sub. Much appreciated. Oh, I forgot one. There we go. There's no music playing here. This is no music in this area specifically. There we go. The, the room is sufficiently warmed. Four tiny sets of candles and a giant drafty hole, and now the room is plenty warm. It's literally that simple. I could put some music on, but maybe you're meant to enjoy the scary no music. Alright, I gotta fucking go before that shit explodes. I'm gonna die. It okay. Yeah, I'm surprised there isn't like a, a funny scary track for this area. This seems like the, the kind of thing they would have done. Nothing in the wardrobe. Portrait of the king looking royal. We got the fireplace there. Wardrobe here. Can you get all you want out of old school RuneScape without paying money? That depends what you want out of it. I, w I will say a lot of the content is in fact locked behind the membership. There's still fun things you can do for free. Um, is it fun if you've never played it before and have no nostalgia for it? I think so. You're, you're, you would have to play it for yourself and find out. I definitely think there's fun stuff to do, even regardless of the fact that, like, yeah, this is charming and old to me. I would say there's a ton of stuff that I never did as a kid, and it's all, you know, quaint and new to me, and I'm having fun with it. But as for, am I gonna have fun with it without paying for it? You're gonna just gonna have to try that and see for yourself, you know? Good news, it's free! You can do that! You can also, like, eventually work towards getting enough in-game money to buy, uh, some member, sh some member time. They just let you do that. Make a trickster glitch for that reset. Much appreciated. I haven't thought about Ruin's cape for years. Do you have a purple cat? Do I have a purple cat? Do, do you mean in real life or in this video game? No to both. <laughs> uh, if it matters, the sub is quite cheap in comparison to contemporary MMOs. Yeah, if you do end up going like, yeah, I kind of want to pay for a sub, it's very cheap, in fact. But uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. There's, there's plenty to, to mess around with when it's just free-to-play IMO. We're going. Hello, woman. I'm gonna play a game. You like gaming? No. Yeah. Sure, man. Can I go? <laughs> if you get hurt or don't, it's up to you. Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> Thank you, Eves, for the 17 month resub. When do you finally get the titular runescape? Literally, when you hit 99 runecrafting. Which people revile doing as a thing that you can do in this video game, maxing out runecrafting. But, uh, I'm a pervert, so I like doing it. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Leave her alone. Yeah, it is, it is certainly better nowadays, now that you can, like, play the fun minigame, now that you can play Guardians of the Rift. Guardians of the Rift is real fun. I love doing that. But people sir, sir didn't like, you know, like going out and going to individual rune crafting spots and just doing that over and over again. My name is RTVS Holly. Yeah, that's my account name. It's me from RTVS. Oh yeah, it's true. You can go to the fucking abyss for runecrafting now, can't you? I would never did any of that, because, like, I literally just, like, peeked in there to unlock Guardians of the Rift, and that was about it. You talk to a scary damn man in the woods, and he's like, I'll send you to a place. I'll send you to a damn zone. Hey, don't say anything or she's dead. Alright, we're gaming. Do you like quests? Sure, I like quests. 
Do you like scary quests? Uh huh. What's your favorite scary quest? Oh. You have to have a favorite. The one with the vampire in it who lives in a big house. Good, good. Now for the game I spoke about. I'm gonna ask you one question. Get it wrong and you die, but get it right and you live. Please, no, no, please don't. I don't want to die. Then think hard about your answer. You like vampires, so this should be easy for you. The question is this. Who's the vampire that resides in South Mistalen? Um. Well, if we say anything, she dies. So we're not going to say anything. Oh, yes, yes, I know it, Count Trainor. In your face, you maskhead freak. Oh, Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. I did tell you to think hard about your answer. Count Draenor is in fact a vampire, and he does reside in his manor in Mistalen. But that manor is in West Mistalen. I was talking about Count Check. Thanks for playing. No, you tricked me. It's not fair. Ask me another. Die. Free paper for me. Free paper for me. Yes! That monster. I have to stop them. Well, let's see what the note says. You've never seen a person die in this game? Well, this quest is about people getting murdered. This is the murder quest where women die. Let's read that damn note. It's like music to my ears. The glorious sound spelling out your fate. I wonder what that could mean. We can't walk that way. Oh, that poor Bando's godsword all out of the way out of my reach. I wish I could take it. Don't any men die? Yeah, a man died before I went on my last break. Uh, They straight up killered him. All right, well, what's my fate? Dead. Hey, there's a compartment here. What the? It's open. There's a green key. This is really awesome if you like doing puzzles, but kind of sucks if you hate doing puzzles. I like doing pug pu puggles? Help. <laughs> Peggle. We got a scary painting. Hey, thanks, Teeth Girlfriend, for the resub. The oyster. What oyster? <laughs> you mean? <laughs> Thank you for the resub. What? What did they mean by this? Let's, uh... Let's climb back in. I gotta pop out my chat, make it a little bigger, so I can. Now that the chat's moving a lot faster, it's harder to keep up with. Quite as many messages. Give me just a sec. I'm gonna pop out my chat box and drag it over here so I can see more of it. And then it's easier for me to say hi to people. There we go. Okay, hi. <laughs> Your message get trapped in a yellow box? That's so sad or good. It's because you're a rating. Okay, what's in here? Old bookshelf. They got books in there. They got a skull in there! But nothing interesting. Okay, that's locked. What the? Why am I the only one who is always left cleaning up after everyone? Me when I'm shuffling. Hello? Anyone there? Me when I'm wrestling. Hello? Lacey? Sid? Huh. I guess I should go check it out. No point staying in this nice locked room <laughs> when I could go outside into the creepy darkness. What the? The walls and doors seem too thick for Mandy to be able to hear you. 
Women are always saying this in the horror movie. Oh, and I don't think there's any need to take this big shiny weapon with me in order to defend myself. Nothing bad ever happens when people go check out noises in the dark outside of houses. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, here I go! Hello? Anyone out there? She probably doesn't have the levels for the god sword anyways. Yeah, you're right. See, I knew nothing would happen. Must have been a squirrel or something running about. Dude, it's that easy. Well, back to the dishes. Phew! I was lucky. Little did she know she was about to get a surprise visit from the killer. Ah! Ah! That psycho! He was just toying with her! Fucked. Well and truly fucked. Another note. This guy really likes playing games, but this is- This is going to be a game he won't win! I hope you all had fun watching Baldi Basic and Scorpy stream. Now we're in that real, that real horror game shit. That real scary stuff. What if RuneScape had a killer? Here at first these words. Each murder you witness helplessly from start to end. As you fail to solve the final letters of this quiz. Razor sharp like a gemstone is the blade of my knife. The last sound you hear will be your scream's echo. Heed that I will have the final word in this thriller. So if you look at the, the first letter in each word, in each line, it says heart. And then if you look at the last, it's S-D-Z-E-O-R. S-D-Z-E-O-R. Now what could that mean? That door's locked. Can't do that one yet. Can we do this one? No. Certainly going here. Let's see. What's next? I only, like, vaguely remember. Let's see if I can... Figure it out. It's a fireplace, it's a fireplace. Still got our knife. It's still going here. That's just an old fireplace. Hmm. Can we open this? Nah. Is it this fireplace that we have to look at? I think there's something about a fireplace we gotta play with. Let's look at the note again. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Like a gemstone. Read that I will have the final word in this thriller. Hmm. I think there's a hint in the quest book. I don't think there is. No, just gotta, gotta find a way to stop the killer. We'll figure something out. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. I did just, like, have a fucking quest guide open the first time I did this quest on a different account. Breeze through it. Didn't really remember much of it. This is getting ooky spooky. So it's fun to try and figure it out on my own, actually. Hey, thank you for the tip. I hope you're getting so scared of puzzles. I hope you're literally so scared about puzzles and you're crying in your pants about it. You're screaming and you're throwing up? I hope so. I hope your pants are crying. I hope the pants are dead. And the sun and the, the stars were almost down from the top of the sky. We do still have this bucket of water. Let's see. 
Nothing interesting happens. Oh, hearth. But it's, I always think it says heart. It says hearth. So I was on the right track with the, the damn... the damn fireplaces. It's just you gotta find the right one. Hmm. Not this one. Is it just the one in the main room, maybe? Yeah. Nothing interesting happens. Fireplace, fireplace, higher fireplace. Am I remembering wrong, or is there something else I have to do? I can't go in there. Oh no, I can go in there, it's fine. Will let me go in here now? Nope, that's locked. This door's also locked, so I have to go the long way around to get there. Hmm. Go this way. I can go this way. The dragon painting is cute. Can't go this one, can we? No, I checked that one. Cool clock. Thought I was misreading it as a bit? No, I'm doing a fucking stream and trying to juggle a video game and talking with people. I got shit going on. All you guys like, damn, it's so funny when the streamer is doing something wrong. It's totally doing it as a bit. You try juggling seven things at once. And do all of them perfectly. Get back to me on that. Not the piano again, that's for sure. There's this damn hearth over here. Uh... No, I don't got a burn or nothing. Can't light these candles. I swear I gotta do something with one of these damn hearths. Oh, maybe I have to light this one. Let's try that. That one's unlit. No, this one's unlit. Let's try that. This door's still damn locked. I swear there's meant to be like an interaction with one of these. Like, we haven't done anything in this room yet. I don't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Hmm. Draenor backwards is Ronyard? That's scary. That's fucked. We can get out of the house. Nothing really out here, out here, that's helpful yet. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a little bit, like, some of the steps are a little bit, uh, odd. Like, I remember struggling with the fucking, yeah, the barrel is too, is too wet, it's too damp in here. So just light a couple candles on the wall and that'll super dry it out. It's like, what do you mean? No, it won't. <laughs> Uh, 
I do still like this quest, but man, it is a little goofy. This bit, at least. Right, and we can't open it up, because I don't want you to take the god sword. It's a joke. Right, like, there's a huge fucking drafty hole in the wall, and it's like, nah, you can do it. Just, just light the candles. It's that easy. It's so simple. And this is why I say RuneScape's like an adventure game. Point and quick click on all your stuff, see what happens. Here's a fireplace. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Read the note again. This is hearth. And then it's got. I remember what the letters at the end of the sentences mean. I have to find whatever hearth it's talking about. Not really any others in here. Hmm. I'm gonna do myself a kindness and just look up what the specific thing is for this one. Just have that. Have that sorted. Just a sec to pull up the wiki. Let's see, this is Mist Island Mystery. Let's see, let's see. <sighs> so it wants you to use so I was right, yeah, it's gotta do with the unlit fireplace. Do you wanna know what it wants you to do? Do you want to know what it wants you to do? This bit here. Like a gemstone is the blade of my knife. You have to stab the fireplace. That's the one bit I was kind of overlooking. Was I was just like, oh yeah, blade of my knife, because, because they're stabbing you. No, 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 no. That's the clue. It's... It's a little bit obtuse, but also... Fair enough, they gave me the info, I guess, but it's like, yeah, you use your knife to pry loose bricks. Like... I don't know, man. That that bit's a little bit goofy. <laughs> Anyways, so we can search the fireplace. It is... S-D-Z-E-O-R. Panel of switches inside the hidden compartment, crafted from different gemstones. S D Z E O R. And the fireplace unlocks. And you get a key. A very click it with every item solution. A little bit. I think the bit about the knife could be a little bit clear, but it is kind of like, okay, the info is there. Fair enough. I was a bit of a goon about it. That's all right. That's on me. Sometimes that happens in a puzzle game. Sometimes that happens in these old grungy adventure games. RuneScape is an old adventure game. You you do in fact S D Z E O R it. You you said Zior it. It's that easy. It's that simple. Unlock the door. Bro, come on, get out here. I got level eleven attack. Sometimes you just gotta say, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How old is RuneScape now? Old. So we meet at last. I have to say, I'm impressed you worked out my riddles. Yeah, that last one was a bit of a stretch, dude. You, uh... You could maybe work on your puzzles a little bit here. Maybe you want to give up being the killer and we can, we can go to, like, a puzzle workshop or something? Maybe you aren't as smart as you think you are. <laughs> Oh, really? All the dead bodies suggest otherwise. I've killed a lot of people. I'm a genius. And what did you do to stop them? Nothing! People think you are some big hero, but you're not. They... they don't. All I've done is, like, help a dude shear his sheep? Make a bunch of iron? I'm a nobody. <laughs> 
It's awesome! All you adventurers are the same, nothing but opportunists. What are you going on about? Well, I did have this big speech planned out, but quite frankly, I don't think you're worth the effort it would take to deliver it. So this is the end of the line for you. It's time for the final act, the showdown, the finale. Let's see if you're up to the challenge. Oh, okay, bye. Goodbye, the killer. Anyways, now it's the puzzle boss fight. You gotta watch for the wiggling, and then you push it in the right direction. I didn't do it early enough. Oh well. Let's see if I can do this one. No, 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 I didn't want to push it. So mirrors are famous for reflecting knives, right? They're always doing that. I think this bit is cute, at least. No, not from that direction. I'm not going to get it in time. Dang. Alright, let's see. I guess I could always just push it in front of one and then just wait. Instead of trying to do it, like, reactively like this. But, whatever. Okay, that's not even going to let me push that more. Yeah, let's let's just set it up to get one instead of uh, waiting like this. Put it here. Let's see what wiggles next. That one again. All right. Well, you're just doing this to fuck with me now. Yeah, the fact that there's no music here is a little goofy. Kind of wish there was. Again? You're kidding me, right? All right, hit me with another one. Let's see where you go. Okay, you really do just want to do it there. Whatever. Your days are fucking numbered, you dickhead. Ow! So you gotta do this multiple times. You gotta do the slow ass. I can put my fucking run on. That would make this faster. So now you're gonna go here. That'll get you. Ow! But you are a little bit at the mercy of the game, you know, saying, you can do an input now. Like, I gotta push this back one, and then... There we go. Ow! They should put this in the nightmare zone to fuck with people. They should! Ow! I may have underestimated you. I'm just gonna stab you normal now. You've lost at your own game, and now it is time to see who you really are under that mask. What is the Nightmare Zone? You have a bad dream and you get to refight bosses from quests and stuff. What the? It was the people at the start that told me to come to the murder house! Why on earth would you kill all your friends? Why beg me to come here to help them? You just don't get it, do you? I'm blonde! Blonde women are always doing this. So big-headed. So used to it all being about you. About you saving the day. Well, not really. <laughs> well, I'm sick of it. What, what do you mean? Th this quest is a lot funnier when you really are at the start of the video game and all you've done is, like, shear a couple sheep, fight a couple of imps. <laughs> Adventurers! You're all the same. Everything always has to be about you. I don't understand. Of course you wouldn't, because you can't see past yourself. Believe it or not, I used to be like you. I'd hear about some damsel in distress and go to hell. Mm, gay, huh? To have my moment. 
for me to be the hero just for once. But you! You and every other darned adventurer. They can't say damn. Every time I go there to help, it's too late. Crisis solved. Disaster averted. Reward claimed. Every time you and those other adventurers steal my moment. Ah! <laughs> you guys are so obsessed with being the center of attention, with being the one in the spot. Why can't I be the one in the spotlight? Why can't I be the hero? Okay. But not this time. I'm going to kill everyone and then I'm going to do Romeo and Juliet. This time it is all about me. I'm the star of the show. Me, 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 me. Well, not anymore. The show's over. There'll be no curtain call. Oh, but there's always a curtain call. <laughs> there was a second killer. What the? Mr. President, a second killer has hit the mansion. Of course. Every good show is a good supporting cast. Now, take off your mask, darling. Take a bow. You've earned it. Oh, of course, my love. Oh no, it was dude who was bisected! He's fine! You? You were almost dead when I saw you. I saw your wounds. No, what you watched was what we wanted you to watch. A masterful performance, if I do say so myself. Several quests in OSRS end with the player being in the wrong and having to make amends for being a gullible rube. Yeah, it's cute, it's fun. The, the player character in RuneScape isn't really exactly like a, like a blank slate or whatever. You're very much like a type of character who acts in certain ways. It's fun. I like it. But what's in this for you? Everyone loves the limelight, and who better to share it with than my beloved Abigail? But your friends? They didn't deserve to die. Perhaps not, but neither did I deserve to be cast back into the shadows when I deserve the spotlight! Yes, well, we deserve the spotlight. And now, I have my starring role! Our starring role. Kilinor will forever remember this night and what I've done here! No, what we have done here! Quiet, Huey. This is my moment. No, this is supposed to be our moment. It isn't just all about you either. We're, we were in this together. Stop ruining this, Huey! I've worked so hard for this and I'm not going to let you take it away from me. Well, I'm not going to be pushed aside either. We were both in this as equals. We were never equals. How could you possibly compare to me? You ego. Statistical. Selfish! Stab. No! <laughs> Am I love? Yeah, Tim Tam, this entire quest is like very obliquely. Hey, you guys ever seen Scream? You guys remember Scream? We're doing a Scream joke. No. No, what have I done? It wasn't supposed to be like this. But you just couldn't let me have my moment! Why, Huey? Why? I loved you! Quick, pick up Killer's knife! This could be my chance to take advantage of the situation. And thus, with a kiss, I runescape die. Fight Abigail! You accidentally muted the stream. Oops. That's okay, you got a vodge to catch up on if you want. Oh, thanks, Sarah Doman, that's over. I should get out of here. Hey, what the? The god sword is gone. That's so weird. Abigail is dead. And you'll never escape me! You dare try and ruin my moment? Huey is dead because of you! Hey, who's that up there?
Now, it is time for you to join him! Hey, girl. You're not killing anyone else. This random woman has a higher attack level than me. This is awesome. No. This can't be it. Wow, that was close. Mandy, how are you alive? I watched you get stabbed through the heart. I did get stabbed, but I was born with a rare condition called dextrocardia. Dex- Dextro- what? Dextrocardia. That means my heart's on the right side of my chest, not the left, like most people. So when the killer thought they stabbed you in the heart, they actually missed? Well, missed the heart, yes. Did still get stabbed, though, and I'm actually feeling pretty woozy. <laughs> oh, yes! Right! <laughs> you should go sort yourself out! I'll wait outside the house after seeing to the stab wound. You should come talk to me there. <laughs> well, they sure didn't kill me. <laughs> they didn't get me in the heart. I am losing a lot of blood, though. <laughs> I am in a lot of pain, though. Is White Boy alive? No, he's dead. You decide it's wise to leave the murder weapon behind. Damn, that's too bad. Well, it's a good thing I have my other murder weapon with me. My legally sanctioned murder weapon. Oh, hi, Holly. Hi, Mandy. How you feeling now? Much better, thanks. And lucky to be alive, thanks to you in no small part. Well, we saved the day as a team, so thank you, too. Here, I found these in the wardrobe when I was seeing to my wound. I don't want them, so please take them. It's free gemstones! No free god sword, though. That's her god sword now. And we get crafting levels. Boosted all the way to level... Was that eight? That was eight. Sometimes the kerning on these fonts, I can have trouble distinguishing between the five and the eight. Thanks again for your help. Stay safe. You too. I watched a video recently by a... a RuneScape video maker type of person. Uh, and she had, like, met someone that was also doing this quest. Uh, and, like, making jokes about the bando sword in, in the background. It's like, oh, you should have gotten in on this quest. It would be so helpful. And then, like, found them again after, like, giving them a bond. Just like, hey, you seem cool. You seem chill. Here's a, here's a bond so you can play, you know, you can so you can play the member stuff. And then it was also like, hey, also, here's a free fucking bando's god sword. Hit level 75 and don't sell this. <laughs> I thought it was very cute. Sometimes folk do, folks do nice things. Last time you tried to play, you made a grandma and all she did was fish for her grandsons? That's awesome. Yeah, it was a Hanani video. Uh, Hanani's fun. I found her stuff recently. I don't really watch a lot of uh, RuneScape video makers. I don't think it's unfair to say that RuneScape definitely attracts a certain type of dude a lot of the time. But, uh... There's also some fun people that play the video game. Anyway, stealing from women. Lord forgive me, it's time to go back to the old me. Oh! doing this. Let's look at the, the quests log. Can we do the low ice mountain? Let's see. 16 quest points. We need a higher combat level and we got mining for it. They recommend a higher combat level. We don't need it, but we need more quest points for it. Ow! Suppose we could always do Client of Korend. We just have to go there. It's a core end intro quest. That's a quest we can get done. Wow! Right in front of the count? Well, yeah, someone's gotta do it. Count don't care. Someone's gotta count what we're doing. 
destroy these notes. Hang on. Yes. That's a good noise. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, flute salad. It's flute salad time. Killer summarily forgotten? What killer? I didn't kill anyone. I never killed any of those guys. Jigsaw's famous quote. Ow! I'm due to upgrade my pickaxe. I don't know if I can afford a better one. I can afford a better one, but I don't know if I can afford... The best one I can equip right now, is what I mean. Does the Sesame Street count things because of the belief that vampires have a compulsion to count things? No, I think he counts things because his name is Count. You know how Count Dracula is Count Dracula? And they're like, oh, Count. Like numbers. Ah, ah. I think it's literally just that. Well, it's time to pick up from this man, because he's closer. My wife is back. Everyone say hi. Oh, it's pretty good. Yes. I think I added. I, I made mac and cheese, and I saw a tip earlier today about, hey, if you're making mac and cheese, put a little mustard in that bad boy. Yeah, that shit's good. It is good. I think I added a little too much because it's like a little over tart, but other than that, good nice. shit. Money. You know hey, what? I'm realizing... What's up? Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, I realized what it is. It's because for when I make uh, mac and cheese, I also add a little bit of cream cheese to make it like nice and thick and goopy. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a little bit too much tart is with that and the mustard, so I gotta have a little bit less of one or the other. Cream cheese for tartness? It's got a little bit of that, that light tart, especially when it's mixed with other stuff, you know? Does it? I think so. Huh. You have, you have a better sense of flavors than I do. I don't usually think a cream cheese is tart. I, 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 I guess a little bit a tangy, word, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mustard's good in that. Why I not should... sour cream for tartness? Because I don't have it. Burnt my damn meat. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Ah, fuck. My damn meat burning. Fuck. 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 Grab these logs and turn them into flushing equipment. Hey, hon, you ever seen the movie Scream? I don't think I have, no. Okay, because we just did a quest that was just, hey, you guys remember Scream? That was that was you the whole that quest. Remember movie with that thing at that place? You guys seen it from movies? What if we did the joke of the movie? And they did, and it was pretty cute. Nice. And I got some gemstones. Awesome. Now I have some gemstones. I have not organized my bank, like, at all. So it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a funny mess. I feel like that sometimes. Uh-huh, I suppose so. Let's take... shrimps. Eat shrimps. Alright. Let's do some more quests. Let's go to fucking Korend. Let's learn about Korend. Or Korend, or however, you, however you put the stress on it, I'm not quite sure. This fucking mugger is trying to mug me! Counter mugging, That's begin! Fucked. Different killer. Different type of killer. Thank you. 
So how's your day been? It's been pretty alright. I got a lot done, I feel like. Hell yeah. Anything cool happened to you today or recently you want to talk about? I've been talking plenty this stream. You got the floor if you want to. Oh boy, what has been happening? Um, so I did have a slight, oh, puzz you fool kind of funny moment uh, this weekend. Oh no? So, so, as you all should if you have the opportunity, and there's plenty of programs to, to make sure you have the opportunity, I got my covid booster and my flu vaccine nice. over the weekend at the same time because it was to be to just get jabbed twice right right and so i i get my funny vaccines and you know though for for many people including myself the vaccines tend to cause a little bit of like you know soreness uh headaches almost like almost like a mini fever but not like super severe if that makes sense just right. kind of like that fogginess and fatigue right so so it's like later into the day I I get that so I'm like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed and sleep this off and so I have like just this feverish like sleep of just like kind of waking up off and on like kind of a little bit delirious like kind of just getting myself comfortable and like dealing with the soreness and right, like right. all of that and then I wake up early the next day because I knew I had to like get homework done but I was like feeling that fogginess coming on so I was like okay I gotta just wake up early and do it then because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna have it in me to do it today and so I wake up early I'm like sitting up I'm like kind of willing myself to uh, get up and like deal with the day and only in that moment after my whole feverish evening right. do I have the realization of Shit, that's right, Advil exists. <laughs> oh, honey! <laughs> you could have been doing. I could have literally had an Advil as soon as I felt the sword is coming on and been like, fine. Uh huh. You could have been doing. <laughs> I could have been doing. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, I feel like that also happens to me quite a bit too, as I'm like, oh yeah, painkillers. Those are real. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey, funny enough, I, I, I know this about you. Yeah, I was about to say, there were certainly several moments when I was visiting where you had to deliberately, like, grab me by the shoulders and remind me, like, you can take a fucking ibuprofen. Take a fucking ibuprofen. And I was like, oh. Yeah. And it was just like... Honey, what do you normally do when you gotta take like a painkiller or something? And I was just kind of like, well, usually I just kind of grit my teeth and loop it. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I always forget. I always. I mean, forget. as evidenced, I do too, so I can't talk, I suppose. Mm hmm. But still. My strength is going up, and my fighting level is nine. Nice. Is that good? Yeah, it means I can hit for two instead of just one. Wow, amazing. It is amazing. My killing power getting stronger, stronger. How's, how's your pasta? It is, aside from being a little over tart, pretty good. I mean the pasta itself, like the noodles. Oh, it's good. I, I just plussed up a like, box mix of mac and cheese. Ah. So your noodles are normal and not weird? They are normal and not weird. That's good. I'm glad one of us got to have normal <laughs> pasta. I got a bunch of leftovers of my spaghetti. I say a bunch. I have like one serving of leftovers worth of my pasta for tomorrow. I hope that reheats okay in the microwave. I find I so. for pasta specifically, it's sometimes kind of a wash when it just comes to like, well, you got the leftovers, you gotta reheat it. And if you put it in the microwave, it just gets kind of weird texture-wise for me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, certainly for- ooh, okay, air talisman, I already have one, but sure. Um, certainly for like quite a few things, it's like, well, you know, you can reheat them other ways. You can put them in like the oven, you can put them in a pan, whatever. You can't really do that for spaghetti. Yeah. 
here's here's the thing that's helped me because I have a lot of like textural weirdness with like reheated stuff. Mm. You heat it up in the microwave. If if you're doing it with a sauce, do it in the sauce. Mm -hmm. So that helps with like the texture because it's like immersed in liquid. Mm -hmm. It's not and really a not... sauce on mine. It's just like I made like a pan sauce with like some tomatoes and stuff. Damn, these people Even have that. so many willow logs! Look at this! My They've god. cut down so many! What is this fucking wizard?! Fuck you! <laughs> Bitch! Throwing ball at you! This dickhead! Must eat food. Actually, I just remembered I can watch like your stream of it in the Discord. Was yeah, like, hon, were you not? <laughs> I was just watching it on like Twitch, but muted. So I'm just watching you <laughs> silently hit this wizard. Oh shit, a clue scroll. Nice. We can do a damn clue scroll. All right, let's see what we got. Talk to Charlie the Tramp and Varrock. All right, well, we're going back to Varrock eventually. We can do that once we do um, our our trip to Corend. Oh my God! Look at those pigs. Oh yeah, these are some damn pigs here. There's some really good pigs. Is the problem? Th they're hang on. Let's go back and see these pigs because like I'm getting up for a break in a sec. Anyways, we might as well just goof off with these pigs for a quick sec. You made a creamy gnocchi vegetable soup today and it was amazing? Fuck yeah. I don't think I've ever that made gnocchi really myself good. before. I should try. RuneScape's got, got good pig. I will your attempt. You know, that's encouraging. I should give it a try next time I'm over at your place. Mm -hmm. RuneScape's got some damn good pigs. Some damn good pigs right there. This is the face of a fucking pig that goes like, Oh fuck! Why my pig? Fuck! Fuck! Oh, fuck! How the hell I ever become a damn hog? A damn bad hog! Oh, fuck! Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> like that. Just like that. You know? How about you hogs on the field? Brace yourself, invaders coming to your pig pen. Really good hog squeal? Thanks, I think I'm okay at it. I try to do it not too loud at this hour of the day, but sometimes hog overtakes me. You know how it is. You know I how am, it is with hogs. I am capable of the most amazing noises. I'm going to choose to believe that's a compliment. Thank you. It is true. And it is good. Yay! <laughs> you know what else is true and good? What's that, honey? The fact that I gotta go up on a break. <laughs> oh, maybe it's break time. So I'm gonna log out real quick. Put on some music. You get to listen to Donkey Kong. I'm gonna get up, have a stretch, uh, grab myself some more to drink. Uh, you ought to do the same for yourself, because I'm just going to be hitting the ads button for a couple of minutes. Uh, and then I'll be back real soon. Uh, I can leave Puzz unmuted while she's just sitting here eating in case she wants to say hi to folks. Yeah, might as well. Okay, well, I'll be back in a bit. If you're sticking around for whatever reason, you can you can say hi to my wife. She's talking about me, chat. So how y'all doing today? What's the buzz? Bees, I think. About to take an ibuprofen? Good. Good for you. Don't be sitting there just having pain. Ooh, 
grilled cheese and tomato soup. That's good. Deadline dying? Haha, <laughs> me too, bud! Did you see the Sonic Adventure Quest finale? No, I fucking gotta catch up. I've been busy. in the recycling and it popped out of my hand like a cartoon soap and flew away. Good night, puppy dude. Hope you have a good rest. I hope Polly is lots of beads, too. I don't know anything about RuneScape, actually. <laughs> Which is making watching this with my wife very fun. Basically like Skyrim, I have great news. I also don't know anything about Skyrim. <laughs> Maybe can you say something that will shock the old folks chattering under my balcony? The economy! P! Butthole! Student loan! It's basically like the Bionicle. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> hey, what's up? 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 I, I told chat that I don't really know anything about RuneScape and they helped, helpfully helped explain to me by <laughs> Comparing it to other things I don't know anything about. Okay, great. so let me put it this way. And I realized that putting it this way might be really, really bad for you. For the same reason that I have to keep telling you that Tetris isn't out on the Switch yet. It's not out on the Switch yet, by the way. Ah, oh, that's so sad. I've been craving some Tetris lately. Um, I, I, I heard they're probably going to be coming out with it around, uh, like, May of next year or so. No kidding. That long. Yeah. Worth the wait and all that. Anyways, so here's what you gotta know about RuneScape. Everyone's like, yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's an MMO. It's like an old browser-based MMO that's still you know going today. RuneScape is a point-and-click adventure game. It's it's like if a King's Quest or a Monkey Island was about like wandering around a goofy kingdom and like doing trade work. Like, becoming a tradesperson. It's also a collectathon about doing puzzles. How to play RuneScape now, hon now. Now, honey. I would actually like to play this together with you someday. I think that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. This is not a game you get into when you are also trying to graduate from grad school. Yeah, I do have to finish a 200-page book by tomorrow, actually. You need to do that. I do. You think you're going to be good to do that while also being on call? It's okay if you got to jump off. I don't mind. Ah, I should be good. If, if if we hang out and I'm like, oh, I'm not focusing on this, then I'll let you know. But ah, I want to spend just sit around and spend some time. It's like if King's Quest was about going around a goofy kingdom. So King's Quest. No, sillier. 
sillier, stupider. What if they made a King's Quest 2? It's like that. Wait, they did make a King's Quest 2. What if they made a King's Quest 3? Wait, they did make a King's Quest 3, didn't they? What if they made a King's Quest 4? Surely they would never. I'm about to eat a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> it's so sad that Puzz alone can't download RuneScape. Yeah, they like specifically closed down uh, new membership, like new accounts being made uh, in her specific region of California. And it's so sad that they did so that. It, it sounds like they're gonna like ease up that ban like maybe later on next year or something though, so. Oh, honey, I have a potentially very dangerous idea for the both of us. I'm gonna get logged back into the game, by the way. Yeah, do tell, do tell, so, do tell. Not anytime soon, because I don't want to sabotage your fucking uh, graduation plans. I'm not a monster. But, um... So I'm playing as an Iron Man, where kind of the fun of that is that, um... You don't really do, like, the big, like, trading with other players thing, or, like, playing the fucking flipping the market economy to make a million dollars or whatever, and you have to, like, you know, make use of what you got and go out trying to get what you have and stuff, and part, part of the downside of that is, like, you know, you can level up all your crafting skills and stuff, but you're just either making that for yourself or making to, like, sell to NPC shops and similar things to make a little bit of money for yourself. So there's a thing called Group Iron Man, in uh -huh. which you and other players are in a group together and you can, like, you know, trade with each other and help each other out and do things together and stuff like that. And we could always do a group Iron Man thing together. We could do group Iron Man. I think you can do, like, up to five players, so we we could theoretically wrangle together three other goons to play with us at some point. I think we know at least three other goons between the two of us. I do, in fact, think we know three other goons that may or may not be interested in playing RuneScape is the thing. Also, this is the one thing I know about RuneScape. Yeah, this song. I'm killing the seagull, by the way. That's fucked. But maybe it had to happen. This bastard knows what he did to my sausage roll. I'm, I'm bringing up this dangerous idea knowing full well that some of the goons I think of might be listening to this stream. Bones. Huge fucking bones, by the way. Huge fucking bones in this damn bird. Maybe it's helpful that we got those out of him. Yeah, they choking on him! Oh, thanks so much for getting those bones out of my throat! I was choking- oh, 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 oh. I'm feeling a lot better now! Yeah, it could be fun to maybe try a a group thing someday, and then I could, like, you know, teach you the ropes. Yay! If there we seems to be at least two ropes, maybe more. Yeah, if we end up having enough fun with it, we can do membership stuff, and I can, I can chuck a bit of money your way for that, or you can pay for it yourself if you have the money and the interest. Something like that. Could be fun. Could be cool. Okay, these birds are not dropping feathers like I was hoping they would. Oh well. Okay. Where's the dude that goes to damn... Cringe? It's not here. It's like down here, isn't it? Right? Unless it was actually that boat over there. It might be this boat over here. One of those featherless birds? Birds are famously always featherless, except for chickens. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, it is this guy. Okay, his NPC was just hidden for a sec. Take me to your house! Take me to Great Corrand! Let's do the intro quest. For Koran. Oh, right, they have fucking scary music here on the ports. Get scared! Ah! Ah! Welcome to the kingdom of Great Koran. 
Now, Corrend is a big place. It's gonna be quite intimidating at first. If you need any help, just let me know. It, like, eventually gets more, like, triumphant and explory ish but, like, it does sound- start off very, like, fucking bombastic and scary work mode. It's weird. Can you give me some advice? The kingdom of Great Corrend is made up of five main cities. They are the cities of Arceus, which is, in fact, just named after the Pokemon guy. Uh, Luvakenge, Shazian, Piscarilius, and Husidius. Each city is ruled by one of the five houses of Corrent. At one time, the kingdom as a whole was ruled over by a king or queen that the five houses answered to. However, since our last king died 20 years ago, the kingdom has instead been ruled by the Corrent Council. Uh, now, this may seem like a strange place to you, but to the people of Corrent, you're the strange one. Don't expect them to trust you right away. I'm not strange, <laughs> says the woman wearing the fucking TMNT Shredder mask. Oh, of course not. You'll need to prove that to them. If you want to unlock everything Kuren has to offer, you'll have to earn the favor of her people. How do I do that? Well, I find the best way to get someone to like you is to help them out in some way. If you assist the people of Kuren, they'll soon come to like you. They'll also tell all their friends about you, and you'll quickly make a name for yourself as someone who can be trusted. You can earn favor with each of the five cities. The higher your favor, the more you'll unlock. Look for the minimap icon to the left to find places where you can earn favor. So that's the main mechanic of this place, is like you earn the trust of the different cities and then you get different goodies here. If you're looking for a good way to get to know the kingdom a bit better, I do have a job that you might be interested in. I have a client from the mainland who's interested in learning a bit more about Korand. They've asked me to gather some information on the five cities for them. I was just going to do it myself, but you're quite new around here, so this might be a good opportunity for you to get to know the kingdom a bit better. Thank you, Gamer Boy Joy, for that brand new sub. Much appreciated. So what do you say? Yeah, okay. Sounds interesting. How can I help? Here's my enchanted scroll. Check this scroll. My client is interested in the hierarchy and general social organization of Great Corrend, especially when it comes to how it differs from the mainland. Oh, I see. They're also doing a graduate thesis. <laughs> exactly. That scroll is special. When written on with a particular type of quill, my client will see what you're writing without anything being seen on the scroll itself. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. Where's the... That's account management. That's no... That's useful links. Volume. There we go. The song is loud, it feels like. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not spying for somebody, am I? Oh, not exactly. My client simply wishes to keep their knowledge gathering on the down low. <laughs> sure, that's that's fine. That don't seem weird at all. Who should I speak to in order to find out more about the cities? There's many a man and woman who could give you the information you need, but general store owners in each city will likely be your best bet. They should know enough about the cities, and I'll seem up for a chat. Good call. What about this special quill you mentioned? This weird quill you have given me. Simply touching a normal feather onto the paper should synchronize their magical ability to work together. You don't need any ink. Right, I'll return to you when I have the information your client needs. See you soon! Hello, Toad. Hope you're having yourself a good day today. Thanks for tuning in! Alright. We do quest. Find of correct. Gather information on the five cities. Uh, I can make one by using a feather on an enchanted scroll. Okay, so we need a feather. Do these seagulls drop feathers? Any second now. No. Oh, well, I attacked another bird instead of picking up the bones. All right. As you do. As one does. As you do. There's just a straight-up pirate here. Normal for pirates to be hanging out. All right. Let's go find a damn feather. All right, that's what it wants me to do. 
Also need an enchanted quill. Yeah, so we need to get a feather. Who the hell I gotta talk to around here to get a damn feather? We, like, unlocked another song for a split second and it went right back to playing the scary music. Now it's the docks music. There we go. Normal again. Yes! There's like a cute little mine area here. We got mithril. We got iron. We got copper. A little minecart panel from the looks of it. There's a spider. What if a spider had feathers? Does a spider have feathers? I suppose it depends on how you define feathers. Uh, well, a feather is... How do you define a feather? Um, it's got a shaft. Well, that could be a lot of things. Ranging from, like, a... car gear shaft to a penis. There's highwaymen here?! Of all places? Uh... Once again? They never learn! My combat level 10! They're the highwaymen. Let's level some defense. I need to get my defense higher so I can start wearing steel. Man, it's like we never left the mainland. Another black cape. Remember how excited I was when I got my first one from one of these dudes? Now they're dropping like fucking flies. The guards don't even care. The guards aren't here to stop the highwaymen. They probably sell feathers here. Given that this is a uh, like a fucking fishing place. Let's see. Yeah, they just pull them right off the fish. Well, no, I mean, they use feathers as, like, bait for fishing in RuneScape. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they have feathers. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we can talk to Frankie over here. Maybe Frankie's got a... Oh, okay, never mind. The mugger is here. Hey, man. I was kind of hoping to shop here, but if this is how you want it to go, this is how it's gonna go. Hang on a second, Frankie. Any second now, Frankie. Just, uh, just hold on there, Frankie. I'll be with you in a minute. I do like the swarm of gnats. The swarm of gnats really adds to the aroma of the place. Aroma? You know what I fucking mean. I mean, it probably does add to the aroma. Alright, hey, Frankie. How you doing? What do you got for sale? The finest fresh fish Piscarilius has to offer. Oh, no, you just sell the fish. Never mind. Need to buy fishing equipment. That's different. Well, thanks for talking to me. I love you. There's a food shop. Oh, this says food shop. Okay, so. There's a bank there. Fishing shop. There we go. We get mugged again! <laughs> Ah, Port Piscarilius! Greatest place in all of Karend! They all think they can step to you. This dude's like, yeah, you got the fucking shredder mask, you got a skull around your neck, you got a big ass fucking scimitar. You have a massive fucking plate shield that you're gonna like club me in the face with. I can take you. I can take you. You have so much for me to take. Like 18 earth runes, six shrimp, a beer. Yeah, man. Easy pickings. Oh, whatever helps you sleep at night, dude. And you're sleeping with the damn fishes is where you're sleeping. Yeah, also I forgot. It can, like, recommend quests for you to check out. Anyways, where the hell are we going? Up here, to the right. At least this music is fun. <laughs> I got run energy. I can run. Pick up the pace a little bit. Me for exactly five seconds a day every day. Oh, hon. <laughs> we gotta get you back to exercising. We gotta find the time for you to get back to that, frankly. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, listen, even at my most physically fit, I was not good at running. Well, yeah, that's what practice is for. 
You don't I sell have... feathers. Why don't you have feathers? Okay, I'll just fucking ask chat. Hey, where the hell do I get fucking feathers on Karend? Do I have any in my bank? Oh my god, wait. Why didn't I think to check my fucking bank? I'm almost certain I've banked feathers. Probably. Hopefully. Right, my pin. Hang on. Um. There we go. Damn, just like real bank. Um. Honey, don't look at my pin. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. I've got feathers. Okay. Use feather on enchanted scroll. It's become magical. It's become magical. Take boat to Draenor and kill chicken on farm? Nah. Nah. Alright. Client of Karend. Speak to the general store owners of these five fine places. Where is the general store in Port Piscarilius? Is... Is there one? There's a food shop. There's this bank here. There's this fishing shop. Oh, it's all the way down here at the general's. Okay. I'm gonna be so, so just a little bit mad if I go to the general store and that's where they're selling feathers here, if anywhere. It's going to be really fucking funny. I'm gonna be a little bit mad. This is literally just fish town? Yeah, I mean, it's on the docks. It's the shanty town on the docks. Their main exports are fish and poverty. We're gonna talk to Leans. She looks pretty cool. A great adventurer from afar? How may I help with my repertoire? Can I ask you about poor Piscalius? If it's Piscarelius information you seek, it's in my brain you, that you must peek. Oh, you fucking rhyme every sentence you say, huh? Girl, you're fun. <laughs> what is it that Port Fishtown provides for Karend? You're certainly a chirpy woman. <laughs> That's a funny way of putting that. I do like her. She's cute. What is it that Port Piscarilius provides for Great Karend? Within Port Piscarilius, you'll find great fishermen, traders, pirates, and I. All led by our ruthless leader, Shauna Piscarilius, none yet to supersede her. No surprise if you meet her, her tactics are ruthless. Her demeanor renders all pirates toothless. She's a little bit of Gruntilda was nice. I guess they kind of have that, but I don't remember if she rhymes or not, so she's kind of a bitch. Leans is good. Our great shore and trading have treasures to be found, providing export and fish in quantities abound. How do people start gaining favor in Port Piscarilius? Repairing net cranes and gathering bait? Newcomers to the port? Well, this is their fate. It's labor-intensive and dirty work, though stick to it, friend, till your arms are inert. Why should I gain favor with Port Piscarilius? Friend Tilda never rhymed unlike, unlike the rest of her sisters? Right, like I said, she's a bitch. Fuck her. Our shore is brimming with gold from the sea. The most loyal of our people are handed the key. We'll let you stand on our shores and collect the great anglerfish. Only others only... Covet? <laughs> you jot down all the info Leans has to say about Port Piscarilius with slightly less poetry. No, no, include the poetry. That's crucial. Oh, no, our, our, our character's not brave enough to do that, unfortunately. Tragedy. Our character is too, too too British to do that. Hang on a second, that last one didn't rhyme too well. Listen here, pal, you don't mess with people in Port Piscarilius. You want happy rhyming leans or angry, gruff, and pain-inflicting leans? <laughs> happy rhyming leans, please! Thanks for your help! Anytime, my adventuring friend. Enjoy your time in Great Corrend. She rules. I like her. <laughs> She's a real one. Uh-huh. All right. What do you got? 
Would this game be improved getting Banjo Kazooie style voice sounds? Yes. Yeah, extremely. Imagine this character going like ha 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 And then your character going like Let's trade. What do you got for sale? Okay. She doesn't sell feathers. I don't have to feel so sad. Cool. Let's go now to the other places. We've got Arceus over here. Swinging up ways here. <laughs> Need to watch Banjo Kazooie City Tour again? That video is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you heard that impression was the Ratatouille stream? That fucking reminds me, we still gotta do Ratatouille Part 2. Oh my god, we do! Honey, they need to give you like five months off from work and class so that we can do our dumb stream ideas i know we have bits we want to do we do just just let my wife graduate early she's she's so good at what she does just let her look at her she's so yeah, cute and i don't need to write a thesis or any she's so cute just and she's so, so nice and she doesn't have to write a thesis just let her do it and we can play ratatouille Threat of the brother's cock ever looming on the horizon? <laughs> I mean, you're right! That's not specifically why I want to do Ratatouille again, stream. General store is down the middle and to the right. Okay. We have to put that human man in the void is why we gotta do Ratatouille too. I mean, there's other reasons. Smile. But that's one of them. Yeah. So this is Arceus. Uh, it's the weird crystal magic place. They got magic trees, they got crystals, they got bats. Oh, I thought you were making a Pokemon joke. Well, I mean, it's named after the Pokemon. That's straight up what they said they named it after. No kidding. Yeah. They were like, yeah, it would be funny if we named it that. So they did. We can attack a bat. We're going to attack a bat. It's all right to do this. I don't know why I'm attacking this bat. Kind of just wanted to. It drops bat bones. What? differentiates bat bones from normal bones, I wonder. Smaller. I guess. They give less experience or something? I wasn't paying attention to the number. Okay. Let's talk to Regath. Also, yeah, everyone here is like weird looking phantom people. Check it out. No, that's the stairs. That's a cool design. It's fun, yeah. There we go. What do you require, Traveler? I deal in many things. Who are you? My name is Regath, Traveler. What is this place? This place is a union of the mystical and the mundane, where the magical realm reaches out to touch the humdrum world of... commerce. Or, in terms you may understand more easily, this place is a shop that sells magic stuff for money. Oh, I also trade in various other items. Yeah, what do you got? Oh yeah, they do just sell, like, straight up, uh, wizard hat. Runes. I should buy some damn runes. Let's see. Four coins for a bunch of these. I don't know why I'm surprised that runes are in fact a feature in RuneScape, but here oh, I am. Famously, hun. <laughs> they're like, they're the thing you use to do magic. <laughs> I 
there's there's a skill. It's rune crafting. You use that to craft runes so that you can scape runes. <laughs> ah. If you level up rune crafting to max level, you get a rune's cape. Oh, I get it. And if you level up construction to maximum, building, you know, things in your house, you get a room's cape. Hey. Awesome. <laughs> Who want me? <laughs> Thank you, Tom Key 3 for that brand new sub. <laughs> Much appreciated. Can I ask you about Arceus? Yes, he's like a Pokemon. They made a game about him recently. He's like a weird horse. If you level up agility, you can run escape. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's a good one. This city holds knowledge many would deem unsafe to share. Why should I be so trusting to you? Because well, so cute and so nice. Look, look, look at my awesome fucking Master Shredder mask from Turtles I'm wearing. Well, I'm a... Uh... A journalist! Yes, a journalist from the mainland. I want to let the wider world know of how incredible this city works. Or how this incredible city works. Someone willing to share knowledge of our great city to many others? Very well, then. The rest of the world would certainly do with learning about our great library. So what exactly is it that uh, people... What is What exactly is it that the people... Arceus bring to Great Corrend. It's worded a bit funny. Arceus is filled with literary and magical scholars, led by the great Trobin Arceus. As a leader, he assists in pushing the limit of our knowledge surrounding magical abilities, souls, and the crafting of rune energy. He cares not for petty control, focusing instead on the expansion of knowledge within Great Corrend. How do people start gaining favor here? Those seeking favor within our city start with a particularly labor-intensive job. I'm noticing a theme here. Do our fucking busy work for us. Please. We'll love you forever. Our library, as grand as it is, still requires maintenance. Constantly. That's how libraries go. <gasps> Excuse me. Why should I gain favor with Arceus? Our great library filled with millennia of knowledge. Runic, magical, and religious are but small findings compared to the power of the Dark Altar. Our very normal Dark Altar that we have, it's fine. Through yeah, it. yeah, the Dark Altar, we've all seen it. Yes, yes, the Dark Altar. Everyone on Kurend has heard of it. The what? <laughs> Through its power, we have great knowledge on life and death. The knowledge could be yours as well. You quill and your quill and scroll glow, causing a seething pain to run through your hand and arm. Uh oh. Is that good? Isn't isn't that good? What is the matter, journalist? I I don't know. I must have caught my finger with the quill. Uh, apologies. Please continue. Very well. As mentioned, rewards for loyalty within our city are priceless. The sharing of our magical research is but child's play to the knowledge we share to the most loyal. The knowledge of blood and soul runecrafting. Jot down all the info Rig Rigath has to say about Arceus. Thanks for the help! That's probably a good one to get if we want to grind out fucking rune crafting eventually. I'm gonna be need to do magic. Magic is one of the better fight styles for a lot of things, and also you get a bunch of cool utility spells like turning things into gold. You're welcome. Spread the word of this great city with the new knowledge you've gained, and perhaps be more careful with how you hold your scroll in the future. Bones to bananas is literally the most important part of a runescape. Uh, character's journey. You need that shit. You need that shit. The door's closed! Who closed the damn door on me? Help! 
go to next? Let's go to Luvikenge. It's up. Damn, dead body. Okay. <laughs> she looks a little bit dead. We can worry about it later. I don't know. Is it good? I'll ask the questions here. Hey, is that good? Damn. They're showing me bookshelves. Did I go the right way? I guess I could go in the library and then get out. Ah, Gourmet Impling. This guy's name is Professor Gracklebone. I want to talk to him. Hey, human, can you do me a favor? A librarian won't let me find a book. I bet the Arceus people will be grateful if you help me out. Who are you? I'm from the Stronghold. Mostly I teach magic and stuff like that. Anyway, I heard they'd got some magic here unlike anything I'd ever seen, so I came to learn what I could. It would really help with my learning if you find my book for me, will ya? Yeah, what do you want? I'm looking for the Royal Accord of Twiddle. I'll see what I can do. Oh yeah, I got one of them plugins, I guess, automatically turned on that shows uh, where books is and stuff like that. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. I didn't realize this was a mechanic. Maybe it upstairs? Maybe it upstairs? Or maybe it up here? Maybe books here? I don't know if it's just showing all the places I can search or if it's gonna light up like where the, the one I'm looking for is. It's all new to me. Genuinely painful without that plugin. Awesome. <laughs> How do you get to that center bit? I, I don't see a staircase or nothing. Oh, you probably get to it from the third floor. There's a, th there's a third floor. I didn't notice. There we go. Have a bit of a a look -see. I don't need to be doing this for the quest. I just thought it would be fun to look for a book. Not anticipating how little run energy I have and how slow I'd have to walk. Mm -hmm. There's a wizard up here. There's a damn wizard up here. Yeah, that's a wizard, all right. That's a wizard-ass wizard over there. Good fucking wizard. Godspeed, wizard. Good luck, wizard. Finish running your D&D &D session? Hell yeah, I hope it was fun. Damn, how do you get over to this specific part? Huh. You only see a staircase up. Not, not one down. Weird. ladder or something I'm missing here, right? Maybe it's up this way or something. This music is nice. Totally did just miss this, this staircase here. Ah, there we go. This leads into the center area. Nothing useful here. Check the middle. Awesome to click on my squares. It's good to click on a squares. Awesome to click on my squares. Awesome to click on my squares.
If I could make one thing from RuneScape real, what would it be? Bread. Definitely bread. That stuff sounds awesome. Oh, hip only. Man, that'd be so cool. Clicking it, clicking on my white square. <laughs> You say this when you're playing Picross? And that reminds me. I've been checking out uh, a new Picross game in my own time recently. Um, well, new-ish. I think it's been out in early access for a little bit now. Um, made by uh, Jupiter, the folks that do the Picross S games. And it's just straight up on Steam. Um, it's called... what is it called? Uh, it's like Logi Art or something or other. Let me Google this real quick. Um, uh, Logiart Grimoire. It's, uh... Did I just hear a random event happen? Pick Strange Plant. Hello? Damn, that plant sure is strange. You're weird. What the hell is this? Strange fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. Huh. I've never seen that happen before. That's cute. It just gives you like a bunch of run energy too. It's like 68 run energy in one bite. Okay, that's fun. Neat. Not gonna use it yet, but it's cool. Anyways, um... Nintendo owns the Picross name? Yeah, but it's, it's not it's Nonograms. Nonograms is the generic name for it. But uh it's it's a fucking Picross game. I'm gonna fucking call him Picross. It's Picross. Uh and it's a cute little game. It's like, um the whole the whole concept of it is like, um, you know those fucking games that are like, hey, you have like a bunch of different uh, elements and you have to like mix them together and see what you can make. Like, oh, you know, you mix fire and water and you get steam. Uh, you mix fire and wood and you get campfire, things like that. And it's like figuring out what stuff you can make and what interactions there are and stuff like that. Uh, so it's that while also being a Picross game. You like... I'll find this dude's book some other time. <laughs> um, so, like, you, each different puzzle represents, like, a different sort of thing. And then you can, once you've solved a puzzle, you have that, like, in your, in your repertoire. And you can mix those different ones together to unlock different puzzles. And so it's, it's, a, it's a cute little puzzle idea. Like, Doodle God? I don't know what that is. So, yes or no. Maybe. Depends. And the whole idea is like, yeah, we have this magic book of like everything in existence and we're trying to put it all back together again. But I'm just a little guy and I don't know how to do it. Can you do it for me? So you do it for them. It's cute. Ah, they got bones here. They got zombies here. They got dark crystal here. They got necromancer here. Damn, we just wandered across the border to Halloween Town. No, we just left Halloween Town. This is where dwarves live. Goth dwarves. Is that pool of lava a happy face? Sure looks like it. Haha, <laughs> yay! I'm burning! Yay! Yippee! I love being lava! I literally love being on fire and burning you! Yes! There's dwarves here, talking about beards. The bushiest beard ever. I mean, I needed to clean it more. You're so right. He had the bushiest beard ever. Best times ever. In summer, he didn't need clothes. Those were the days. The beard wasn't so clean after meals. <laughs> His wife could use it for a blanket. His beard got into everyone's dinner. <laughs> I want to talk to these fellas. 
Excuse me. I'm trying to tell my very good friends about my uncle's bushy beard. These 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 dwarves are knockoff. They just live here. Pearls of wisdom. That's cute. Oh, they got cute little little roses here. Let's go talk to General Store Dwarf. Let's go talk to General Dwarf. Your name is Munty. Your name is fucking Munty. Hey, bro, how come your name is Munty? Can I help you, human? Your name Munty. Yeah, who are you? Are you Munty? Why, it's my little shop. I supply all kinds of items that the Lovakin's workers need. Oh, if you need pickaxes, you should visit Toothy in the Sulphur Mine. Now, how can I help you today? Is your name fucking Munty? Tell me that, that'll help. You got a chisel. I can buy a chisel. I need to buy a chisel. I don't think I have a chisel yet. Alright, cool, now I have a chisel. Hey, fucking Munty. What are you doing? Who the fuck is calling him Cunty Munty? Look at him. He's just I mean, a- he's, He got a little bit of mascara in, the, in this model. That's just what RuneScape models look like. Like, Cunty? hang on. No! <laughs> like, look! I got it too. But it's like linked together like I'm a fucking raccoon or a bandit or a splatoon or something. He's- he's literally just some guy. He's- he's literally so normal. He's like, if normal guy was a fucking dwarf. Can I ask you about Luvikenj? Well, I'd be happy to have a chat. I do enjoy talking about this great city of ours. So what is it that the people provide, that the Luvikenj provide for great Orange? What do you, what do you, what do you do? Luvikenj is filled with incredibly skilled blacksmiths. Under the leadership of Volcana Luvakens, our intelligent material sa saving skills made us the finest blacksmiths in the land. Those giant mutton chops are not normal. They are for dwarves. That's what I'm saying. Armors, weaponry, tools, and structures. Our city supplies Koren with all these to the finest standards known to dwarf and human alike. How do people start gaining favor here? Those seeking favor with Luvakin start with a dirty job. Damn, I never heard that one before. Creating dynamite and mining in the sulfur mine isn't a pretty job, but someone has to do it. Why should I risk my life in a fucking sulfur mine with active explosions? Those who endure our daunting introductory tasks are rewarded greatly. Being taught to create the armor worn by the very soldiers of the Shazian army, along with access to our blast mine. Blast mining does look fun. You had me at blast mine. <laughs> Listen, now I don't really want to risk my life blowing up sulfur for you, but I kind of do want to risk my life blowing up sulfur for me. Tell me more. The rewards are able to be reaped by the most loyal of our city are nothing to be scoffed at. Alright, I write it all down. Thanks for your help! Anytime. Come back soon. I do like... Um, like the stuff he's got on his shelves. Like, you've got, you know, the, the plug-a-jug down here. Uh, boxes of something. Perfectly generic square. Uh, liquor bottles. Nice bowls. A tinder box. Just straight up a, a ketchup bottle. Just straight up a ketchup squeeze bottle. Ketchup on the top shelf so none of the dwarves can get at it. That would fucking wreck their insides, man. Don't drink that. You can't be going around feeding the dwarves ketchup again. You know how they get. That's for the humans that come by here. We gotta keep... We, we gotta leave it for them, but keep the other guys away from it. Yeah, We've I do. We've talked about this. We fucking talked about this. I know your uncle's beard was so fucking huge, but we can't be putting ketchup in it no more. I, I do appreciate that a lot of RuneScape models are just kind of like, hey, here's like a flat texture or a gradient. You love to see an awesome gradient. 
You better fucking hope you love to see an awesome gradient. You're playing fucking RuneScape. We got him. Alright, so now we need not to be help. We need to go to Shazian. <laughs> we need to go to Shazian. I got run energy again. Let's go. Put my dang helmet back on. Ah, this song called Rugged Terrain. Watch out, there's rats. Ah! Hang on, boars? There's boars? I forgot, there's fucking boars here? Just straight up boars. Hey, fuck whatever else I was doing. Hog hunting. Straight up hog hunting. Good sounds. Great fucking sounds. Category 4 hog event. Get in on it. Thirty to forty feral hogs will fall to my curved blade. There's nothing they can do about it. Oh, they can hurt me, I guess. What did they drop? Ah, raw boar meat. You know, I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Three. Why do they look like feral elves? Awesome post. Awesome post. You know... And the thing is, is you're not even really wrong. They're, they're a little bit elf with it is the problem. They're, they're a little bit elf. They're slightly elf. They're, they're like mildly elfed up. Okay, the encampment is here. We can just swing a... Swing a left here. No, no, not that way. Down more. Your other left. Undomesticated elf? I don't think elf is domesticated. In, in the same way that I don't think humans are domesticated. That's a word used to describe what humans do to other things. Elf is already a people. <laughs> Let's see... General store all the way down past the war tent. Near the graveyard of heroes. Alright, this is the place whose main export is war. I forgot. So what do you what what do you what is your like main export for the people living here? War! Fighting! Can I just walk through your fucking army drill going on here? Do you guys mind? Can I just uh excuse me, pardon me, thank you. Straight up looking like the middle of Mulan out here. Little bit. They must They're be swift as the coursing river. <laughs> Someone's about to realize that one of these soldiers is a woman and be like really sexually confused about it. This happens sometimes in war. I do not care if you are a woman. I still want to have disgusting hot gay sex with you. Is that allowed? And then the council, uh, the, 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 the Corrent council will come together and be like, yeah. It's still gay if you both want it to be. It turns out gender and sexuality is mostly, like, self-directed. Like, you're the only one who can truly know what you want to call yourself. Right. And then 3,000 years of peace in Corrent, uh, until the war begins again. Now all of Corinne knows you're gay! <laughs> right, and this white blonde bitch is just named Jennifer. <laughs> she... She's got... Like a Jennifer. She's got the fucking paper lanterns. She's got, like, you know, this style of, like, window and architecture in her place, and she's like, Right, love, my name's Jennifer. W what's happening? What's good? I'm running she's, the general she's an store. <laughs> Just moved here. 
Set up shop. <laughs> what are you looking for, me love? I ask you about Shazian. <laughs> well, I could give you some info if that's all you're wanting. Gets lonely in here with me mates all, or all out there fighting a good war. What is it that Shazian provides for Great Corrent? War. For what don't we do? This place is filled with officers and the like. Led by our rigorous leader Shiro Shazian, he ensures ultimate justice and safety for the entirety of Great Corrent. Our soldiers fight off the constant threat of the lizard men, while our highly trained medics heal them from battle. Strict in combat training and discipline. Law, order and defense, these are the words we live by. I don't think I like it here. <laughs> How do people start gaining favor here? Don't get us wrong, me love, it ain't pretty. Those who are looking to gain favor with the city need to help in healing our fallen soldiers and tackling organized crime. It's hard work. Alright, you need to be a medic for soldiers and you need to be a cop. Why, why would I do this? The rewards for the most loyal of this city are great. The honor to train alongside our elite guards and wear our prestigious armor, while also fighting on the front lines against the Lizardman forces. So why would I want to get your, your fucking favor? Oh, you know, we'll draft you. We'll send you to the war. <laughs> Isn't that great? Aren't you excited? Really good message in chat from a first time chatter. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh, you, from the sound of it, you've maybe been here for a bit, but it's wonderful to hear from you all the same. Anyways, this is very emblematic of the old school RuneScape experience. Uh, got back into old school RuneScape because of you. Thank you. Also, damn it, I got back into old school RuneScape. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> the spoils of war are grand. Okay, we get to loot and pillage. I see. All right, I'll talk to you later. Good fucking yard. That's all right, Pedal. Can you go in and have fun? Oh, she called me Pedal. <laughs> Stop. It's cute. Oh my god. Even if you are a war profiteer. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go to Hercidius, which is farming. Hey, Nelson JD, enjoy your new skull. Have fun with it. Make sure you feed it regularly. Those things get hungry, you know. You know they get hungry, right? Dear God, you know they get hungry, right? Oh, is it the fucking lizard men that drop uh, dragon war hammers? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're fucking coming back here at some point. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Web Prosciutto, for the 33 months. We're questing. Quest. Oh, we're questing. Questing on them. I know that, uh, the Warhammer isn't, like, fucking best-in-slot item type of thing, but people still use it to, like, switch to for, like, using the special ability on it. But also, more importantly, it's a cool fucking hammer. So I kind of want it. Oh look, there's pretty butterflies all over the place. Yay! Isn't this place so quaint and charming after the fucking nightmare place we just went to? We can go to the mess here. This place is called mess. Oh, I guess they want us to like feed these people. We can serve a buffet table. There's a damn pizza here. You want to feed the soldiers? This guy's name is Yuzi. I just thought, can I use this? Can I use this oven? Can I cook things in here? Is it alright if I just borrow your oven for a sec? Hey man, I got no. You got like fifty hungry people out there. Can I borrow your oven real quick? Look, I know you're busy and all, uh, but do you mind real quick if I just make some fucking sinew here? Hey, I'm gonna drop this burnt meat on your floor. I hope it's fine. Well, have fun feeding the soldiers or whatever. Bye. Bye. This map looks like those road rides folks had as kids. Does it? <laughs> I'm not really seeing it. Ooh, squirrel. Animal. Oh, this place is pretty. I think this is also around where, like, uh, 
yeah, the Woodcutting Guild is here. And I believe the Farming Guild is here as well somewhere. Is that right? I, th I think Farming Guild is Hosidious, right? Or is it somewhere else? I don't actually remember. Ah, Farming Guild is here by the Kemos Lowlands. So it's it's over to the it's over to the west, but it's it's nearby. I like woodcutting. I like farming. So uh, probably at some point throughout me playing on this account, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come here more often. Hooray! This is Watson. Watson lives here. Damn, he sure does. Who are you? I'm Watson, Don't... the master of Clue Scrolls. What'd you say, huh? There was a dog. Where? It's gone now. What? But I know I saw it. What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> it walked right by the door. I think it was chasing a squirrel. Oh, Gruff McScruff. This, <gasps> you can get. This is the bloodhound pet that you can get by doing the super hard clue scroll stuff. <gasps> oh. I, I literally want him so bad. Me too. I literally Look want him, him so bad. Yes, a little detective hat. Yep. And it's it's like a ridiculously low drop rate to get him. Ooh. He is super rare animal. Ooh. And I want him what so bad. I want him so bad. He's so cute. I have lived a long life here in Koren. The lands are beautiful. No, I think it dropped kick Slurpees. 41, re 41 months of resub. Wanna pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Ha! Huh. It is not so much due to my ego, but the fact that I give out Master Clue Tears, Master Tier Clue Scrolls. You got many treasure hunters here? I have seen many, but few are good enough. I only give out my Clue Scrolls to the very best. Will the dog also sing a song about not doing crack cocaine? Probably not. He's too busy looking for clues. Get a clue. I am just the adventurer you're looking for. If you hand me a clue, I'll be on my way. No, 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 no. You bring me all the low tier scrolls and I'll give you one. I will remember which ones you have given me. I expect you'll find that useful. Have you heard of Sherlock? People are always saying this in, uh, in the UK. Never heard of the bloke. No idea who he is. He also claims to be the master of Curly Scrolls. As I said, never heard of him. If he was such a big deal, I probably would have heard of him. Something tells me you're lying. <laughs> I bet you're his underling. Okay, bye. That's cute. I didn't know there was a Sherlock guy here. Not a Sherlock guy, a fucking Watson guy. And a normal man I can pickpocket from as well. Oh, it's just about break time again. Ooh. Let's do that. Let log out again real quick. Put on some music. Let's go with that. Alright. I'm getting up for another stretch. I'm gonna get some drink and stuff. Um, I don't know how much longer I want to go for tonight. I'm having fun. Unfortunately, I'm also getting sleepy, which makes streaming harder. <laughs> but I'm having fun. That is, this is the unfortunate part of doing the late night streams is like, man, I'm having such a good time. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Especially if it's like a chill stream like this, you know, then it's like it, it makes you it makes you feel the tired. It makes you feel that tired. Good, good news is I'm getting tired. Bad news is I'm getting tired. <laughs> Ain't that just the way? Um, I'll be real. I'm probably gonna stream more tomorrow. Um, I a lot of my friends are like either busy doing get-togethers or like busy going out places or like in Puzz's case, busy with work and class stuff. Um, so a lot of this week is probably going to be me either streaming. Uh, because all my friends are busy, or on a friend stream, <laughs> kind of thing. So uh, you might, you might, you might see quite a bit more RuneScape this week specifically. We'll, we'll, we'll see how, how things roll out as the week goes on. But uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna have a stretch. Get more to drink, and then we'll maybe do at least one more hour before we wrap up for the night. So I'll, uh, I'll see you real soon. I'll leave Discord open in case anyone wants to say hi to my wife. That's me. She's talking about me. Yeah. Okay, see you soon. getting sleepy, which is not good, because I still have homework to finish. I do have to summon 200 awesome pages. It's fucked. Get up early tomorrow. Fuck. Fuck. Might make a little bit of a coffee. Once Holly's back, I don't want to leave y'all sitting here in the silence. But once she's back, I might make some coffee. I need a little pick me up. What's your favorite coffee? Um, usually I'll get like like a caramel latte or like a cafe al lait. Or the the thing is, I don't super like the taste of coffee. I don't. I, I'm a big sweet tooth. I don't like things that are too bitter. So, coffee with sweet things. <laughs> Not coffee at 11 p.m. I got the bad ADHD. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not fine, but it, it doesn't keep me up or nothing on account of that's basically my medicine. see if I can send y'all a photo in this chat, because I sent this really <laughs> good, in quotation marks, Donkey Kong to Holly earlier, and every time I switch over to our chat, I see it and forget I sent it to her and lose my mind again. Let's see if that goes through. Okay, looks like it went through. <laughs> Peep your eyes on this thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's real good, huh? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's what's for laughing? <laughs> I said Chad the Donkey Kong because I keep forgetting it's in our chat. Oh, the one where his damn eyes are bugging out. <laughs> He's looking. It's great. <laughs> the fucking the little bit of stitching near the bottom of his eyes makes it look like they're all veiny and bloodshot. It's great. I literally thought they were when I first saw it. <laughs> He's fucked. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> what is wrong with this Kong? <sighs> How's everyone doing? I hope y'all have been uh, enjoying the stream. It has definitely been a much more laid back affair, but quite frankly, I'll be honest, I've been very tired recently. I have unfortunately been very depressed. Uh, it happens to me sometimes. Uh, I get, I get, I get bad sort of peaks and valleys, as it were, um, and it makes me really damn tired. So I've been very tired lately. Uh, but RuneScape is a very fun, uh, low energy, low commitment type of thing I can hop onto and stream. So uh, I've been having a good time doing it. I hope y'all have been enjoying watching too. Uh, it makes for 
It makes for a fun thing to click on and look at and chat about stuff about. You just got here, is it done? No, I just got back from a break. But, uh... Hi, welcome. <laughs> the chill stream's been a real joy. I'm glad to hear that because I've been, I've been, I've been having a real good time doing them. So there's probably, probably gonna be more of these for the next little bit. Frankly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I know we've been wanting to get back to the streams we've been doing for a while. I am basically book solid for yeah. the next like two three weeks straight yep. so it's a <laughs> after that maybe we'll be wrapping up some stuff <laughs> I am I am I am looking forward to that happening eventually even if it's it is a little bit of a wait a little bit longer type of thing mm -hmm. and I mean I know you got like work and stuff to do you're certainly doing some of that tonight uh but hey if you ever think you can uh you can stretch another sort of uh, hang out and chill out while you're doing your work type of night like this you're always welcome to join in I figure I'll probably just, like, ping you, like, Hey, I'm doing a stream tonight, you wanna hop in? Kind of thing. <laughs> we need to get back to the steampunk future. We fucking do. No, m most importantly, what we need to fucking do is we literally have, like, one more goddamn stream of the Splatoon 3 campaign. One... We gotta wrap that oh, yeah. girl up. Like, we, we have, like, the last couple of levels and then, like, you know, the final boss and the bonus thing. And, like, that's 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 one long stream, but that's one stream. <laughs> we gotta fucking do that. We've been like, oh, yeah, we should do that, like, right when we... right when I get back home. And then it was like, oh, no, actually, we're both a little too busy or too tired to do it. And now it's, like, the middle of October. <laughs> I've been itching to get back to it, but it's like, man. Life comes at you fast, huh? Life truly does come at you fast. The Splatoon, cam City, the Splatoon campaign is good. Off. Sorry, what? I keep trying- I keep talking over you because I keep thinking you're done because of the fucking delay. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> One, it is okay. Two, I'm literally just making a life comes at you fast in New York City joke, so I think it's fine that you're talking over that. Thanks for the comes joke, honey. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Smile. Well, on that note, I'm gonna get up real quick and make myself a coffee, but I'll be in the middle. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Going in the well! Oh, they put my wife in a damn well. It's good or bad, depends. But yeah, Splatoon campaign is fun. I'm I'm looking forward to getting back to that eventually soon. And then I want to do more Ghost Trick. I want to do more Layton again. I certainly want to get back to fucking Yakuza. It's 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 been a hot minute, but I feel like that's a game that's pretty decent for picking back up whenever, given how it feels like a TV show. Previously on Yakuza. Previously on Yakuza Zero. Oh fuck. What if we revisited Peppa Pig? No. No, thank you, actually. Nah. I, I think that well has run dry. <laughs> I don't think they're releasing a third one. I mean... Never say never. I... don't, typically. We could kill the queen again? Okay, when you put it that way... <laughs> okay, when you put it that way... <laughs> When you put it that way. Well, if you insist. Well, if you say so. Peppa Pig movie happened last week in Gnome? That did not happen last week. That stream happened ages ago. Just because you only saw it now on YouTube doesn't mean it just happened. What if they made Yakuza 1? Oh, they would never do that. I'm about to eat a big bowl of cereal and go on Google. We'll never forget when your sixth grade teacher introduced herself and in her intro she said she liked Professor Layton. That's awesome. That's very we're charming. Out we're out here. We're, we're simply out here. There's like a dozen of us! I could get back to the fucking video game. I've just been sitting here chatting because it's fun, but I could get back to the video game and also keep chatting. It's, it's a good video game for that. That's literally what I've been doing all stream. Stop the fucking music. We're listening to RuneScape music now. Super Mario, get out of my asshole. It's RuneScape. What 
What is that song? I don't know. It was kind of weird. It was actually awesome. Oh my god. Is it true they have pride stuff in RuneScape now? Yeah, they've had pride stuff for a while. Um, I forgot to go and get it when we were in, like, near Varrock earlier. It was literally right by where I was doing smithing. I could've, I could've swung by there and picked it up. Uh, I remembered where you have to go and get it because I saw my friend Bugs was posting about it this morning. They had, they had gotten the, the non-binary flower crown and I was like, oh fuck, I want the crown, I want the shirt. And like, there's different color styles you can put on it for, you know, different pride flags, but, uh... Man, the fucking trans flag pattern on the sweater just looks very cute. Like, even putting aside the fact that, hey, it's a pride flag that I like, and that applies to me. It's a really cute looking sweater with the, like, the patterning on it, with the banding on it. Uh, is the general store is right there. Okay, there's also a farming shop. There's a guard dog here. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, honey, how do you think I felt every night sleeping at your place whenever I would, you know, wake up slightly and look up above around. me? Yes! Yes, he was, but... <laughs> For folks that... For folks that don't know, um... So Puzz, uh, does work uh for welcome home she is she does a lot of like um what's the right word for it like organizational and clerical work alongside you know she does some like some writing stuff and she does some like physical prop work and stuff uh for for the project which is very cool um and she had done like i, I i'm allowed to talk about this right hun I think everything that I've worked on is public now, so yeah. Right, like the exhibit stuff? Yeah, yeah, the exhibit's public. Yeah, so she did, like, a little exhibit thing uh, related to the project, and it, like, it was... I, I think that's literally what got Clown to be like, yo, this is cool, do you want to help me work on the project when you, like, hit them up with that proposal? Yeah, it was... We, I, I pitched them, exhibit to them, and they were like, oh, sure, I'd love to do this, and then as we were working on that, uh, Welcome Home got big, and so uh -huh. they were like, Hey, I really like working with you on this, and you've been a really big help. Would you like to keep working on it now that, like, stuff is happening? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so, so anyway, she put together, like, a little sort of exhibit sort of thing with, you know, some, uh, some different props related to the, the, the project and the universe and the show and stuff like that. And there were, there were fun hidden goodies in it. And my wife is super talented, and I love her. And you should all support her forever, one million years, and I love her so much, and I want to hug her. Um, uh, I was I was trying to make a point, aside from the fact that I love my fucking wife. Oh, right. We're talking about Flat Wally, honey. Right. So, um, there's there was like a stand like a standee cutout of of Wally. Wally Wally Darling is one of the characters in uh, Welcome Home the project story whatever but also welcome home the in-universe tv show um and so there was like a cardboard standee cut out of him that was there at the show it's like one of the things in the exhibit and the whole point of the exhibit was like you know presenting as if it, as if it was like an actual show piece of lost media to like you know talk about and, and and show off and things like that and so that was that was one of the cutouts there was that was one of the things there was his cutout and so puzz still has that she's kept it and it's just in her her studio apartment and so when she was like arranging things to to like you know make space for me when i was coming over so that we would have you know a little bed to sleep in together and then i would have space to like put my my luggage and my my clothes and stuff um she 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 has like a i don't think bunk bed is quite the, quite the right word for a, a loft bed she has a loft bed and so she, like, you know, takes down the futons, she uses a mattress and lays them out on the floor. Uh, and so there's there's room up there, you know, for putting other stuff. So she put a couple of things up there. Um, and she just straight up put Flat Wally up there. <laughs> and so he was just, like, right above us. Right above where we were sleeping. And I have no fucking recollection of this. But apparently, 
at some point, according to her, and like, I believe her, but also I have no fucking memory of this. At some point, I told her, honey, please turn the flat puppet around so that he's not fucking staring down at me when I'm laying in bed or lounging with you or we're having an intimate moment or anything like that. I don't want him staring at us. And so she did, of course. And so this whole time, he was flipped backwards, staring up at the ceiling, but the fucking shape of this puppet man is, like, right above me. Anytime I'm laying in bed and I just look up, I see the cardboard cutout shape of him. Constantly. And this, like, comes up at some point um, in, like, uh, a work discussion about the project. Uh, very recently, like, I want to say literally a couple of days ago. Me, my wife, and her ten-foot-tall cutout puppet man? It's not ten feet tall, is it? it it's life-size, so he's three feet tall. He's three feet tall. He's shorter than my wife. But it's still a pretty a fucking... <laughs> More than a little bit! You're almost five feet, right? Close. Yeah, that's more than a little bit. Thank you, Gay Avery, for the 40-month reset. Much appreciated. No Slayer yet, but there's probably going to be a Slayer stream at some point. Um, but yeah, my wife is tiny. It's very cute. I can pick her up. Um, what was I talking about? How much I love my wife? Fucking Flat Wally. Right. So, <laughs> like, it, it comes up at some point um, that we're just, like, talking in, like, our little group work chat about a couple of different things and at some point i bring up yeah you know uh she, I, I think it was you bringing up because you also have the fucking mask now one of the things from the halloween update that we did um i guess more accurately they did all i did was lend my voice to it but i suppose that's helping out one of one of the things for the halloween update we did was we had like a, oh yeah look at more like things we've uncovered about the show um it's this like you know children's costume for halloween uh and the idea was that it has to be, like, one of those shitty, cheapo-looking, uh, you know, it's dollar store- of the times costume. Right. A, a very of the times shitty mask and shirt. Uh, I was literally- we were fucking joking about this, me and Frankie. I, let, I gotta pull up the exact fucking words we said, because we're fucking funny and I want to just quote it. Um, talking about it. What fucking channel was this in? Right, it was this one. Um talking about, like, you know, the fucking materials on it. Just, Frankie says, walk into Michael's, loudly ask for the most flammable faux satin. <laughs> and talking about, like, the shitty fucking mask. Let me see if I can just pull up a fucking picture to show. Um, yes. Yes, I can. Let me tab over to here. And you can see, like, the fucking costume I'm talking about specifically. Um... It's one of these fucking costumes. Like, you know, you've got the shitty, flimsy-looking, like, plastic mask, and you've got, like, ugly-looking, like, satiny kind of pants and just, like, a generic sort of logo shirt. That kind of children's costume. That kind of children's costume. V very authentic and to the time and of the quality sort of thing. Um, and, it, yeah, just with a promo image of the show on it rather than, like, you know, an actual fucking... <laughs> costume it's it's really good it's really good our friend jake made it he's a fucking superstar um mm -hmm. <laughs> and so talking about the fucking mask material i say something along the lines of like you guys got any plastics yeah it's gotta smell bad yeah it's gotta be brittle <laughs> you got anything illegal to sell me in the state of california i'm talking warnings that don't fit on the packaging yeah the warnings gotta smell bad too <laughs> Uh, anyway, so we're talking about the fucking costume and how Puzz has it just in her place now. Is it just the mask or is it the whole costume? It's the whole thing. She's she's also just got the whole thing in her in her place. And she's like, yeah, I've got two weird fucking Wallies just like in my place now. And I'm just like, more. You gotta get more. I, I need I need more of these things to be staring at me when I'm asleep at your place. And then she says, well, honey, he wasn't staring at you. We had him flipped over, remember? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. But it's funnier if I say it this way. And then you were like, but honey, you were the one who told me to flip him over. And I'm just sitting here thinking. I did? <laughs> I, I don't remember that. <laughs> I, I do not at all remember telling my wife, hey, please don't make the scary puppet cut out stare at me while I sleep. <laughs> I literally 
thought that you just did that of your own volition because you were trying to be, you know, polite or considerate or something. But no, this whole time I had asked my wife, hey, we got like a weird puppet guy that's like your roommate. Can you make him not stare at me? And it was like, oh. I don't remember I saying mean, in that. Fairness, I was going to do it anyway, but you did specifically request it. Okay, well, next time I'm over, can you make him stare at me no matter what we do? Oh, absolutely. Okay, well, I can't wait to be having an intimate moment with my wife, you know. Maybe we're all snuggled up, maybe we're getting a little touchy-feely, and I look up, and that thing's just looking at me, and it's like, I gotta go. I gotta leave. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get out of there. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom, and I'm not coming out. I'm sitting in the shower. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. The best question mark part is that that is in fact the only escape because in my apartment is one room and a bathroom. Yeah, it's a studio apartment. <laughs> I gotta, honey, I'm taking the keys. I gotta go buy some grapes. And then a weird puppet appears. And then a weird puppet appears. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. <laughs> The Wally Darling costume stays on during sex? Thanks no. Thanks for your first time chatting in my stream. Please don't say that ever again. <laughs> Never again. Please don't say that about don't my think wife. This is your last time chat. <laughs> I'm laughing, but also come on now. <laughs> There's a bit of a line there. Oh, <laughs> uh, who are you? This is really good music for all this discussion happening. <laughs> What's your deal? Hello, my friend, my name is Horus. You're in the city of Hosidius. Most everyone around here tends the farms. Without us, Corrin would have no crops at all. You want to buy anything? Yeah, what do you got for sale? Farming stuff. Yeah, I suppose that tracks. You can buy a machete. If you want. Can I ask you about Hosidius? Well, well, my friend. I've lived in this great and glorious city all my life. I'd be happy to share with you anything you'd like to know. What do you provide for Great Corrent? Hosidius is filled with keen and skilled farmers alike. I almost misread that as Hosidius is filled with wet for some reason. I don't think it is. I mean, well, I guess the other places are filled with creepy, so maybe this place is just filled with wet. Could be, could be. Only one way to find out. There is real potential for in many years for y'all to be 90-year-old women with a room in a nice house dedicated to a creepy puppet. L let me put it this way, Quigley plays. There's potential for us to do that... now. <laughs> Knowing how my part- millions. Knowing how my part- when we get our millions. Knowing how my partner is as a person, and the likes of things she likes- likes of things? The types of things she likes to collect. I would not be surprised if she had some kind of weird- You literally do! I haven't talked about this, you're fucking Jessie from Toy Story! She's not a weird puppet, she's just Jessie! She hates me! She kept- She's just floppy! She kept falling over and making horrible loud sounds at me constantly whenever I was near her until I moved her to a different shelf. Now hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. sorry, the fucking- Bring this up on air. Uh-huh. You did not move her to a different shelf. I didn't? You shoved her behind a stack of DS games. Face down. On a different shelf? <laughs> <laughs> that was a different shelf? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still technically right. <laughs> you threw her hat elsewhere. She didn't even have her hat. I did? <laughs> I don't remember doing that part. <laughs> She didn't have her hat when she was buried there. I'm pretty sure it just fell off and I tried to put it back on and couldn't. <laughs> While you were burying her? <laughs> well, no, the burying came after. <laughs> I didn't bury her. I put her on top of it. Hey, now. <laughs> the stack caved in on her. They're not fucking burying. 
burying a man in the graveyard if they're just dumping him on top of the grass? If there's a sinkhole, there's a sinkhole. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Anyways, the point being, we're both just kind of fucking like this as people. So, like, I think this has kind of already happened. I guess that's less a cursed doll and more just a doll that kind of doesn't like me specifically. Not even in, like, a murderous way, but in a, hey, I'm just gonna keep making loud noises at you out of spite kind of way. <laughs> Which is pretty fucking funny as far as a cursed doll being real goes. <laughs> There's a chance that dolls and puppets put Holly in an evil trance? Listen. Listen. I call it evil. I was just about to say, I'm not so sure about evil trance, but... <laughs> I, I do have memory problems, but it is a little bit funny to blame it on puppets. <laughs> a nasty trance. Disgusting trance. Disgusting worm. Hosidious, by the way. <laughs> what are we doing here? I, oh yeah, we were talking about the farmers. Led by the incredibly efficient Candor Hosidious, his intelligent resourcefulness make, ensures optimal agricultural production. Ah, this is the place for optimization perverts. Okay, I see. Dandori issue. You, you, you weren't here for it, you missed it. When I made an awesome joke about Dandorian boobs. Oh man, I can't believe I missed it. What the fuck did I say? It was so fucking funny in a man, come on, this isn't as funny as you think it is kind of way. <laughs> so like, uproariously funny. To us, yeah. <laughs> it was like, something about the, 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 the Dan Dory of boobs, the way I'm doing so much of those things in so little time. Or something <laughs> like that. I don't remember, man. Boobs. That's the point. <laughs> I don't know what people are about. That's great. <laughs> <sighs> I don't even remember what the fucking context was. I think I literally brought up tits, like, with no context as a joke. Because I was like, yeah, you know. Uh, these, these streams are fun. You know, you tune out, you relax, you have a good time. It's fun background noise. And then sometimes you hear Holly talk about fat fucking breasts and you tune back in like, damn, what? We talking about tits? I zoned out. Sorry, what were you saying? I was thinking about titties. Oh, fuck. Sorry, did you say something? I was thinking about tits. Oh, shit. Did you say something? I was just thinking about tits. Oh, boobs. Thank you, Spaghetti Club, for the 20 month resub. Really good what resub message. Did I just tune into? <laughs> Who's up honking their donkers? Exactly. <laughs> awesome. Our fields stretch as far as the eye can see. Quite like those titties. With incredible teamwork and group efforts, the ability to provide great careers, people with food and herbal supplies. <laughs> Quite literally, the fruits of our labor. <laughs> How do I get favor here, man? <laughs> Horace, I'm sorry you got us at this point in the night. Hey, man. Sorry we're doing all these boobs and breasts joke over you when you're trying to tell us about farming and efficiency. <laughs> He's not talking about boobs. Yeah, you know, honestly, skip it. <laughs> he looks like a Ken doll. He? <laughs> no, no, please, I need to talk to you about farming efficiency. He does. He does look like a fucking Ken doll, doesn't he? He straight up looks like Barbie movie Ryan Gosling. Kinda. Not into your back-breaking field maintenance or fertilizer creation, those wishing to gain favor within our city may need to maintain such tediousness for a small while. Though, stick with it. Rolling hills just like those titties? Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Backbreaking like the weight of those titties? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Man, though, get some support for those things. Man, it sounds like it hurts. Mm-hmm, please, dear God. 
The rewards for that painful work are nothing short of great. Yeah, man, great like those titties. This is nothing. Why should I gain favor with you? <laughs> Personal kitchen, spirit tree patch, and allotment space is lovely. You know, yeah, I do like farming. I'd say with one farming level on this account. Our winery and tithe farm are world-class and exclusive to only the most loyal. Alright, as you jot down the final info in Hosidius, you hear a mysterious whisper in your ear. Return to Vios. Who the fuck was that? Who, who the fuck was- I was thinking about Shut the fuck up! I'm busy! Thanks for your help, Horace. It's any time, friend! Feel free to pop along if you ever need any wares. <coughs> Excuse me. There's just fucking grain all over the floor here. Who's done this? I guess it's a grain storehouse, isn't it? It's like a silo or something. I guess that makes sense. Please, like, clean up a little bit. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese has definitely seen better days. It's so sad. It's it's so sad what they did to him. What the fuck is this thing? Logoveno plant. A local Hosidian has planted their own personal fruits. Hang on, hang on. They're having drunk chats in here. Best harvest we ever had. Thought we needed a bigger barn. <clears throat> They're just like the dwarves. Hey, man. I'm trying to tell my very good friends about the best harvest I ever had. I'm trying to tell my very good friends about the biggest bull I ever raised. I'm trying to tell my good friends about the bestest tits I ever saw. In. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. This music is so peaceful. Yes, it's nice. I do like it here. Which is good, because I'm probably going to end up here more as I start getting into, like, farming and stuff. Which I do- should- should ought to get to sooner than later, especially once I unlock herb lore. Because that's how you get- that's how you get your potions and stuff, as you make up yourself. We got cow. I fight cow. The time-honored early game RuneScape tradition of training on cows. Someone's gotta. Apparently someone's gotta. Someone's gotta. Fuck them cows. That's what they say. They're literally always saying that. It's fucked. They're fucked! He's fucked. Whoa. Whoop. Whoa. Whoop. Whoa. Whoop. I remember when I was a kid, the fact that I was eventually doing two damage a swing was like literally so exciting to me. And then I think I got like steel equipment and started doing even slightly more than that. Like I was doing three and four and I was like, this changes everything. Dude, I'm basically stronger than God. I think I literally talked about this on a recent RuneScape stream, but wait, 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 imp detected, imp detected. Like a jam for the stream? Um, let me find the fucking text. We were just talking about tits a whole bunch. You, you guys missed that, it's too bad, but uh. It's so sad how you missed it. It's imping time. Maybe it's good? It's, it's bad or good, it depends. Why are you going that way? The imp is right there. There we go. It's getting away! My level go up. These things die so much faster now that I have, like, you know, levels. <gasps> Happy 30 moths. That's one of the beads we were missing! I'm trying so hard not to pop off at, like, maximum volume right now. But that is absolutely one of the four that we need to finish the fucking quest. We might not even need a dedicated imp catching stream. 
we might just be able to get lucky off one more, and then that'll be it. Oh, man. That's awesome. The scary music! <laughs> it's scary in here! It's scary here! I gotta go to a fucking bank and put stuff away! Jesus Christ! Sound of the summer! It's happening now! Let's walk up to the damn castle. This is a little bit of a Grant Kirkhope song. <laughs> a little bit. Man, why don't they fucking hire Grant Kirkhope to do a song for them? That would be awesome. That would, would actually kind of rules the <laughs> it, it would fit pretty damn well in RuneScape, of all things. Oh yeah, and they're protesting. They want a king or whatever. Dude, what the people definitely need more than anything to be safe and control their lives is a king. Definitely. That's definitely what they need. People famously just thrive under the monarchy. Right! It's what they need more than God! Everyone's always asking for another monarch to take the throne. They need that shit. They're always just begging for a leader. On their hands and knees, need a king right now or I'll fucking vomit. They're doing that. Where's the fucking bank here? Is it upstairs? There's a manual there. Commander Fullor. Fuller one. <laughs> you don't want to know. Did you like that one, honey? Yeah, I did. Yay! <laughs> you were a little bit getting drowned out by the music, which is kind of funny, but... <laughs> That adds to it. Yeah, it that's does. a feature. It is. These fucking wizards casting spells at me! Stop! Come on. Okay, I found it. This is the bank. Hey man, I got shit to give you. Uh, don't look at my bank. Look at cats if they were a blueberry. Cats if they were a blueberry, dude. Um, cats if they were a blueberry, man. Like. Cats if they were a blueberry. <laughs> Thank you, Robin Crumb, for that resub. Oh, you know it's Prima Wizbiz. This is a fucking wizard ass game. Right, deposit coin. Deposit yellow bead. Move that up here so I fucking see them. Uh, let's put my weird fruit away. A chisel, my two spears, my one beers, these earth runes, uh, these couple of mind runes, the sinew, this meat, this beef, these cow hides, this hat, this talisman, this cape. I'll keep the clue scroll on me. We can probably finish that. Probably. We could probably finish that tonight. Cats if they ate a green berry? No! Blue! If they were a blueberry! It's different! They just don't understand, honey. Very uncensored. Parents just don't understand. about me it's that I think I'm really fucking funny and it's honestly it's a... right. <laughs> I'm glad you think so <laughs> here's another imp 
Hang on, imp detected. Imp detected. Warning. Imp detected. Imp oh! <laughs> I have to stop. I'm worried I'm gonna fucking wake someone up doing that awful sound. Dude, if we fucking finish Imp Catcher tonight, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I had this whole bit planned for like a 12 to 24 hour stream where I was just getting the fucking beads from these. I just have one left now. I just have raw chicken now. I guess I can still do I end the stream as soon as I get uh, the final beads or whatever, but... Maybe that would be funnier if it was a shorter stream. Wish you had a chamber so you could release the beast whenever. Yeah, in, in my dream home, the idea of having like a dedicated sort of like... What, what do you do? Attack. What do you mean you can't reach that? I, I can't reach it. What Fuck off! Is? Fuck off! What? Bitch! Absolutely unreachable. What are you beast? It's right there! <laughs> I can't believe the fucking imps are learning safe spots! <laughs> Bitch! I don't have any runes to cast fireball on this fucking thing! They're all in my damn bank! <laughs> That's so fucking funny! That's so fucking funny! It went to the one spot I you can't reach! <laughs> but yeah, I suppose the idea of doing a I end the stream when I finish Imp Catcher is still at least a little funny if I only have to get one bead. There's still a chance that I get like duplicate bead drops, I think. I don't think there's, like, a knockout system for them, I don't think. Rabbit, hang on. Let me get rid of Imp Detected, because Imp is out of range. Rabbit! Rabbit! The idea of someone fully armored walking in and just fucking swinging a giant sword at a rabbit. It's like disgustingly funny to me. Why did she do that? Why did she do that to a damn rabbit? With a scimitar! You know how it is with rabbits. I. I mean, I kinda do. If we don't help keep the population down, I'm gonna like tab out for a second and there's gonna be 30 of these things. My damn ram is gonna start chugging. We've reached a total level of 175. Hey, our number going up. Is that good? Pig. This means I can equip steel armor. Ooh, steel. That's a type of metal, I think. Well, technically, it's a type of alloy. It's a metal alloy. I guess that means it's still a metal. You're the I'm literally in love with you. <laughs> I want to fucking pounce on you and wrap my arms around you and not let go for like 10 hours. <laughs> Do you like my fucking alloy joke? Yes. It's not even really a joke. It's just me going, well, you see, metal alloys. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it. Imp. Imp detected. Imp detected. Imp detected. Imp detected. You imp detected. motherfucker. You are the bitch of my life. Imp detected. I'm gay. I love you. I love you. How's your, how's your work been going, hun? Uh, okay. That's good. That's better than not going. Second imp. And free hat. Second imp. 
Where are you? Where are you? Where? Where? Any fucking second now. Your days are numbered. You're done and dusted. Damn, this thing dropping pot? <laughs> this thing's gonna drop pot? <laughs> Damn! This thing's got <laughs> pot? Damn! <laughs> Imp detected. Oh, pot, I know. You, you cook soup in that. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Another? There are so many fucking imps here. This is heaven for me. This is heaven for me as a hater. Heaven for you and hell for these imps. Well, they're from hell, so... We're sending them back, question mark. I'm not quite sure how demons work in RuneScape. They might actually just be dying, dying. You miss well, the old... Way to find out. You miss the old rat models? The old rat models are fine enough. I miss the old imp models. The old imp models were just a guy in a fucking red outfit. They're really funny. Now they're just like, you know, little demon guys, which... Fair. But I miss... <laughs> I miss little dude in a weird fucking outfit. That's a ball of wool. I got so excited because it was the shape of a damn ball, and I was like, is that a fucking bead? Did we get it? No, we didn't. It was it's a, da it's a damn ball of wool. It's a damn bad ball. This rat fucking biting me. Go away. I want imp. Time for that. Come on. I want imp. I have no more run energy, so I gotta wait for these things to fucking stop. The ball fleeced me. <laughs> I get it. I don't. Can someone explain in enormous detail? <sighs> okay. Fleece may refer to materials. Fleeces. Woolen coats of a domestic sheep or long-haired goat, especially after being shorn. Polar fleece, a type of polyester fabric. Fleece jacket, a lightweight casual jacket. Horticultural fleece, a polypropylene fabric used to protect plants. Wool is the textile fiber obtained from sheep and other mammals, especially goats, rabbits, and camelids. The term may also refer to inorganic materials such as mineral wool and glass wool that have properties similar to animal wool. As an animal fiber, wool consists of protein together with a small percentage of lipids. This makes it chemically quite distinct from cotton and other plant fibers, which are mainly cellulose. Wool is produced by follicles, which are small cells located in the skin. You're trying to fucking read your own shit. I can't be doing this. Darling, I do have a confession to me. I did get distracted a little bit. Go and start playing Unpacking. Honey. No. No, you gotta do your work! You can't play that video game! I know! Not when you gotta read 200 pages or whatever! I know. Oh. But what about a little unpacking first? Maybe just a little bit. Just, just a just, little bit. Just a little bit. Set a timer or something, okay? Okay. S set a timer or just do one level. Yeah, I'll just finish this level. Okay. You do not miss college? Oh, this is not college, this is grad school. Even worse, uh, what if harder college? <laughs> Listen, as someone that went through college years ago, I fucking feel ya. I don't miss that shit at all. Imagine worse. <laughs> That's what my wife gotta deal with. In fairness, I did this to myself. Still, you did this to yourself because you're also doing, like, 17 fucking jobs and other... other work and projects. 
<laughs> no, 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 other way around. I'm doing 17 other work and projects so I can go to grad school. <laughs> yeah? That's what I mean. Ah, gotcha. You know, I never noticed. These imps are a little bit titted up. Damn, a little bit. Just a little bit. But, like, damn, okay. Dude, do we need to break out the TOS crop top for these babies? We might have to. That's, we, we already got yellow bead, right? I think we literally just got yellow bead, so false alarm. That's the one we literally just picked up earlier, right? I don't remember. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I should go to bed soon. Maybe I'll just get gay outfit next time I play next stream. Which will probably be tomorrow, let's be real. Maybe tomorrow was Imfest 2023. Oh yeah, baby. But, you know, what if one more? I'll have one more and then that'll be it. Ah, uh, combat level 12. You love to see it. I gotta start leveling up ranged and magic and stuff too. I have to find a fucking mind talisman to make mind runes, which I think imps drop? I'm pretty sure imps drop those, so like, I gotta be getting these anyways for it. Where are you fucking scarpering off to? Oh, you know. I don't. Die. So, as I said, you can get duplicates. There's no knockout system for them. This is now three yellow beads. We have three different colored beads. I don't even remember which one we're still missing. They're in my bank. I can check there. I'll have one more and then that'll be This one's closer. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll have one more and then that'll be it. Ah, uh, I'm stuffed. I couldn't have another. Uh, okay, I'll have one. Jimmy, something's wrong with these imps. They keep running away from me. They're full of beads. They don't look anything like your mom. I don't think the summoning worked, Jimmy. Jimmy, can you invent a machine that sends all demons to hell no matter what? Jimmy, can you invent a machine so that when anyone dies, they go to hell no matter what? I'd really like that, Jimmy. He was famously always saying this. Jimmy, these don't look like llamas. Jimmy, I might have to kill everyone now. Jimmy, when does the suffering end? Jimmy, the burden is becoming so difficult to carry. Uh, Jimmy, I don't know if we can push this boulder to the top of the mountain. The harpies are starting to come out. Carl's iconic characteristic of believing in the concept of hell? Well, yeah, Jesus helps him trick people. I can call God and Jesus and they can help me trick you. Oh, Jimmy, I think I need to take your dark soul. Hey, Brady, I'm a little tired, and I'm talking about Carl Weezer. You know how it is. I'm getting chicken. Maybe I'll just get one more imp, and then that'll be it. You'll get one more, and then that'll be it. Oh, I'm stuffed. I couldn't have another. Oh. 
Okay, I'll have one more and then that'll be it. I had a croissant this morning and it did make me think a little bit about Carl Weezer. Was it good? What, the croissant or thinking about Carl Weezer? Both, I suppose. Yes and no. You can decide which is which. Okay! Yay! What do you got for me? Well, that's free shears. Yay! I'll have one more and then that'll be it. Uh... Jimmy, I don't think he's ever coming back from Planet Sheen. I think he's stranded there. Jimmy, I don't think Sheen's coming to class today. I think he's sick on another planet. Forever. And I'm really sad about it, Jimmy. I'd feel a lot better if I could see your mom. That's drifting a little bit into, like, Mrs. Fowl voice. Oh, I don't want to hear about how much you're in love with someone's mom! But Mrs. Fowl, you told me I could write a report about anything I want. And I want Jimmy's mom. Carl, I'm putting you in the sickness chamber where people get sick if they go in there and you're staying there for a week. Oh, I hate it in there, Mrs. Fowl. This bitch teleported behind the fucking counter. What the fuck have I been talking about for like the past 10 minutes? I feel like I've been in a fucking fugue state. <laughs> uh, Carl Weezer mostly. Oh, is, is that good? Is that, is that mean, bad or good? I think only you can decide that, darling. I don't- I'm not cognizant enough to decide anything right now. Was it- was it funny? <laughs> was it- was it interesting? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you get a laugh? Did you learn something? Was this productive for anyone in any way? Please, God, I need to know. <laughs> I mean, I never really watched a lot of Jimmy Neutron, so I learned a lot. We should watch Jimmy Neutron at some point. <laughs> That'd be fun. I don't know how well it's held up at all, but it could be fun. Okay, could well... Be fun, could be funny. This thing is dropping fucking ashes. This thing is making a mockery of me. And basically my life is fucking over. As an imp hunter. That's fucked. It's fucked. Well, I guess I'll have to find something else to live for. Like, literally everything else I've got going on. It's quite ample, actually. <laughs> like my breasts. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah! But really, I am quite sad about the imp. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sad. Wait, wait! The bitch is back! Wait, wait! You motherfucker! Get back here! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! It's the same they're one that was to be like the, the Undertale too. monsters. They're fleeing on sight at you. We are a little bit doing an Undertale at them, yeah. It's gonna start playing the creepy music, and like, um... The music just fucking stopped when I said that. That scared me genuinely. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> it's adapting. We're, we're gonna kill enough of these things to, like, sand the skeleton is gonna come out of the ground and be like, Hey, kid. Have bad time. That's the song that he plays when he makes you have a sad... Yeah, it's that famous one. That famous tune. I almost you know said it, something it. too foul that I would have felt bad for saying about Sans the Skeleton specifically for some reason. Yeah? Sans yeah. Time. Whatever, man. It's fucking midnight. I guess I can say whatever and no one can hold me uh, accountable in the eyes of God. Hang on. What do you need? Uh, that's, a, that's a bowl. 
Thanks, man. It's a free spinach roll. Anyways, I was gonna do Santa Skeleton voice and be like, Hey, man. You gonna have a sad come? That's, like, not anything. I mean... You wouldn't say that. It's not not something is the problem. It's nothing. <laughs> as far as things you can say about fucking the skeleton from Undertale, that's kind of up there as nothing. He says this to Asgore on chapter three. Okay, he might say that to Asgore. Yeah, see, 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 we got there. Okay, we maybe, it. maybe this is something after all. Who knows? Thanks, thanks for coming to my uh, Sans the Skeleton ejaculation workshop, everyone. I really appreciate the support in these trying times. Okay, that's a mind talisman, so that's good. Uh, I feel justified in everything I've been doing to these imps now. You've not played the game, but you've seen the art on Tumblr, he'd say that? Now, that's not really a good metric for what happens in the source material. Otherwise, you would assume that Portal 2 is about a boring, featureless white man. And if you're following the right people, some lesbians. And those ones are right. Well, it's kind of about that, but I mean, they don't really have sex in it, so... Not yet. What? What do you mean, not yet? Honey, I don't I, think I, they're going to be making an update for Portal 2 anytime soon. Why not? It, it'll coincide with the TF2 sex update, Portal 2 sex update. You know when you put it that way. You know when you put it that way. You do follow some people who thirst after GLaDOS? Yeah, it's called people with a fucking brain. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, it's called people who are fucking alive and have common sense. That's like being like, yeah, you know, I follow a couple people on Tumblr.com that breathe air and drink liquids and need sleep to function. Yeah. You've described a lot of people. Are you... Can I reach you? Can I reach you? Can I reach you? Can I reach you? I can. Don't teleport away, or I'm gonna be really sad. And don't you teleport away, or I'm gonna be really sad. Don't you do it, or I'm gonna be really sad. Don't, don't do it, okay? If you teleport away, I'm gonna be really sad. Thank you, I'm really happy. I got, some, I got a head and I got some bronze balls, that's okay. No, it's one singular bronze bolt, never mind, that's... It's a little nothing. Shell does throw her balls at Gladys at the end of Portal? No? Completely incorrect. She rips Glados. She balls rips Glados's balls off of her. <laughs> if that's sex to you, then you can have sex, but only once. She throws her balls at Wheatley. You might be misremembering. It's not even her balls. It's some balls she found. Yeah, she just kind of found some balls and threw them at Wheatley. Hey, dude, I found these fucking truck nuts on the floor. You mind if I, like, rub him in your face a little bit? And he's like, man, what's the matter with you? And she's like, I'm not waiting for an answer. Yeah, rips her balls off and incinerates them. She does put them right in the fucking, in the oven, yeah. I don't know. Someone's probably into it. I, I, I feel like GLaDOS isn't into that part specifically. But I mean, let's let's be real. She's probably pretty into the rest of that boss fight. Let's let's be real here. 
Why do you think the ending had you attaching balls onto GLaDOS? Because you do that in Portal 2. It's an inversion of what you do in Portal 1. Instead of of out, eat the balls, it's of in, hot the balls. You know? Why do they call it an aperture science when you... Now, I suppose to be fair, you are taking GLaDOS's balls and putting them into your holes, so... There's something there. There's something there. It's not there. nothing. <laughs> I just kind of stopped and thought about what we're talking about. This is awesome. Thanks for making time to hang out with me tonight, hon. <laughs> You're very welcome. We're, we're doing some genuine media analysis tonight. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's, that's part of why I want to go back to Portal at some point. I think it would be fun to, you know, try and explicitly oh, read I it like really, that. I've been, I've been wanting to replay the Portal games for like three years straight and just keep not finding an opportunity to. Uh-huh. I, at some point, I really want to play it on my channel with, with Jay and Jake because neither of them have ever played it. Fuck yeah. Hey, if you ever I... want a refresher before you do that, we could always play it together or something. Oh, I would love to, honey. Yeah. I love those games. I know you do. <laughs> I do too. I... Not to spoil the bit too much, but fuck it, it'll probably be like half a year before we're able... we have the time to get to this. Uh-huh. I... I really want to do a fucking bit where we do the co-op, but Jay and Jake are doing the co-op and I get to be their GLaDOS. <laughs> Ha! Except awesome. thanks to them, because they're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could be a bit of a bitch if you want. It'd be funny. <laughs> Only in a funny way. Only in a funny way. Damn. Pot. <laughs> they're praying for me. In the quote retweets. I gotta go on break. <laughs> Thanks for sitting through my fucking Carl Weezer trance and talking about, uh... Fucking GLaDOS' balls or whatever. Uh... I'm gonna go stretch a little bit and then we'll do the last bit of stream. How about that? Wait, no, imp. Before- in there. I, I gotta get this fucking imp. Oh yeah, we talked about tits, too. I mean, that's a normal stream for me and Paz, let's be real. Especially if you put the two yeah, of us in Yeah, this may shock you all, we do think about titties on the reg. You- you may, in fact, be surprised to learn this about me and my lesbian partner of multiple years. But we do, in fact, enjoy thinking about and talking about tits boobs on the regular. This might shock you a bit to hear and learn. <laughs> I gotta go on fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put the music on. <laughs> I'm getting up and stretching and then we'll finish off stream for tonight. It'll be a real quick lickety split quick one. But I gotta stretch my fucking hips. They're getting stiff. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Oh, hey, am I so audible? I didn't realize. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to access an academic journal. Never do this for your own good. This is a joke, mostly. a tangible skull video entail? Do they let you touch it through the screen? I am back. Hi! I didn't realize I was still unmuted until like oh. halfway through break. Oops, that's okay. <laughs> I see someone in chat is mentioning a very tangible human skull that refuses to be buried. Classic. That's me. Classic. I fucking love those videos. There was like a period of a month or two where I was just like watching those videos nonstop every day. <laughs> did I see the new one? No, I did not. I'll have to look at that later or tomorrow or something. I don't know there was a new one. Wait, how new are we talking here? Like a couple of days new or like a couple of months new? If it's months, I might have seen it. Today new? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. No, I have not. <laughs> That's exciting. I'll have to look into that later. Yeah, sleepy. Me too, honey. Oh, hon. I want to fucking... Well, we can't do this because, you know... Let alone the fucking long distance thing right now. You're you're working, but my god, I want to fucking crawl on top of you like a fucking cat and flop over. Bedtime. Oh please. Would be nice. Would be nice. This is why I need Costco to sponsor me. Because until I have enough money to just like move out and visit my partner whenever, I'm gonna continue being insufferable about missing my partner. <laughs> I'm gonna Even make it. I, I'm gonna make it everyone's problem until someone rich enough to get me to stop moaning about it is gonna get me to stop moaning about it. Which you know isn't a great plan given the demographic of who watches my streams. I don't really attract rich viewers, but. <laughs> I mean Costco though. Come on, dude. Costco, if you're out there, love your stuff. Sponsor me. Hello again, what can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about your client. They did something weird to my arm and it fucking hurt a lot, man. I got your info. This is now a Wells Fargo stream for Moneybags McGee? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd be super comfortable taking a fucking giant bank sponsorship, quite frankly. <laughs> Costco, though. Costco at least seems enough above board that I'd want to be like, yeah, I like your department store. I can talk about your products or whatever. <laughs> We're rich in taste, too, and character. Yeah, but I can't pay to move out or pay my bills with that, unfortunately. If I could pay for rent and food with character and taste, I wouldn't be streaming asking people to subscribe. <laughs> I'd be streaming for fun. <laughs> I mean, I do stream for fun, but also, <laughs> people want to pay me for it sometimes. Man, I haven't been looking at the fucking tip bar. Thank you for the tips tonight, y'all. Jeez. That is generous of you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank y'all. <laughs> Costco, the neurodivergent queer demographic is untapped. Get in on it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nothing will improve your price points. <laughs> Like advertising Listen. to a bunch of broke queers that have mental health. <laughs> Listen, do you know who loves bulk purchases of, like, rice and canned food? And, like, things that don't go bad and that you can keep for a while? Yeah, it's people like us. <laughs> Get in on it. Get in on it. 
it's that easy. Do you, do, do you know how many people would be like, man, it sure was funny when you made a joke about fucking balls and nuts and tied it back into like, you know, Kirkland chocolate balls and mixed nuts. Hey, thank you for the tip. <laughs> This is the mighty worth of my character. <laughs> oh, well, that's very kind of you, Seymour Disapproves. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I just fucking noticed uh, <laughs> there was a tip earlier. I didn't see what the, the name of the person who tipped it was, but it was that woman's pockets back when I was pickpocketing a random woman. <laughs> uh... Now to be fair, Vegas, I think the main target the main target audience of the cheap hot dog is anyone. That's everyone. <laughs> everyone likes the cheap hot dog. Unless you can't eat the hot dog, in which case you can't eat the hot dog, but you know what I mean. Man, you sorry, I'm not I'm I could be finishing the quest now and ending the stream, but I'm just talking about Costco. I had Costco food recently. Um and I had gotten like a Costco hot dog with, you know, the works onions and mustard and all that good stuff and i was like yeah this is pretty good and then my mom got um i don't know if they do if they're if they're calling them chicken tenders or chicken fingers or whatever um yeah echo loss that happens to me sometimes where i'll eat it and i'm like man this is good and then it does something to my fucking guts and it's like i think it's all the sodium frankly anyways um Wait, hang on. F fuck what I'm saying. Sign, does fucking- does Costco have fucking Jamaican patties? Since when? I- I gotta get in on that shit. I need my fucking fix. Um, there's this one really goddamn good place in Montreal that does such, such good fucking patties. If you're ever in, um, bought them from the deli? Oh, okay, fair. If you're ever in Montreal, look for- they're called Mr. Patty. They do really fucking good patties, and they also do, like, an amazing fucking, like, curry roti. Oh, man. Like, you can get, like, goat, and you can get chicken. There's different kinds you can get. The best part about all of those curry rotis is the fucking potatoes in those. Those shits are stewed down, tender, in all that good seasoning. And that, it just explodes in your mouth in the best way. Oh, fuck, man. I want a patty now. I want to go to Mr. Patty. And they're so fucking far away. And I don't have a car, and, like, it's a little inconvenient to get there by, like, bus or metro. You've been to Mr. Patty? I'm so glad that there are other people here that are either around Montreal or have been to Montreal before that can corroborate this good shit I've eaten before. <laughs> um, fuck it, I'm gonna advertise another place I like in Montreal. Um, my favorite, like, Chinese... Uh, like soup and noodle and dumpling, etc., etc. Place is called uh, Le Roi du Wonton. Uh, I will type that out in chat. Uh, they're literally just like a fucking hole in the wall place, um, and everything they do, like it takes a bit for them to you know make the food and prepare the food and bring it out to you, but literally everything they fucking cook is killer. Everything they fucking do is killer. You gotta eat that shit. You gotta eat that shit. It's good. Ugh. I'm thinking about their shit now and I want to go there. Fuck. <laughs> Check a meal. It's fucking way past midnight, man. I can't be thinking about food. I'm not even hungry. <laughs> this shit's good. Uh, and then, you know, there's other, like, institutional... Pl I'm gonna finish talking to this dude before I talk more about food. I got your damn info, man. I can hear a voice whispering in my head, dude. It was weird. No, Roi is not lion. It is king. <laughs> yes, I heard it too. They mentioned your task was complete. Let me take those items off your hands. That reminds me. I didn't sign up to this. I wasn't told my mind would be entered. What about the possibility of severely damaging my hand? If it makes you feel any better, my client sends their apologies. It wasn't intentional. Needless to say, something you said provoked emotion. Namely... The Dark Altar. I didn't mention it. The Dark Altar would upset them so much. I'd not have written it down, that bit of information. Well, that's just the thing, Holly. My client's pleased you found such info. 
Tell me. Would you be willing to do one last thing for them? Well, I don't necessarily believe I have much of a choice! What do I do? I'm certainly glad you're able to assist once again. My client will be most pleased. This is the world's most normal old man. Seeing this conversation with the little aggressive in the corner above it is very funny. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> that's just my combat style. I have an add-on that shows what my combat style is. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be implied he was being very passive-aggressive about the whole thing. No, 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 no. It's got nothing to do with what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it'll just say accurate above the dialogue, which is really fucking funny. <laughs> that's even funnier, actually. Oh, whoops, that ended the dialogue. Fuck! Ugh! <laughs> All right. Uh, what is it you want me to do? Okay. Uh, take the orb I handed to you and activate it beside the dark altar north of Arceus. Why would I do that? It's best you don't ask. Well, I can't argue with that. I'll return when I'm done. Still runescaping? Oh, yeah. We're going to wrap up soon. Um, but... I've been going for just a little bit because it's been fun hanging out and I'm having a good time. Spackled and sanded things? Fuck yes. What did what did we do? We I mean, we've talked about boobs a lot. Let's be real. <laughs> let's let's be honest. Let's no no beating around the bush here. We did kind of just talk about tits and then I made a bunch of Carl Weezer jokes I don't remember. <laughs> Jimmy, something's happening to me. I don't remember being myself anymore. Hello, baby. <gasps> Kiki baby? Yeah, hi. Kiki baby. I killed a lot of imps. What else is streaming for? That's a good point. Oh, hon, everyone is excited about Kiki. Yeah. Which, I mean, I saw one person excited about Kiki, but it's a friend of mine, so that's all that matters. Oh, Kiki. I still need fucking white bead. Maybe I'll do dedicated imp catching stream tomorrow. Maybe that's the thing I do tomorrow. Then it'll be really funny if I end it, like, in 30 minutes or whatever. Probably won't, knowing Morning me, update. but... Kitty flop over on her side so hard, so comfy. Yes! Yes! The Dark Altar. Oh, she doesn't know. The claw, the player. Once you stop caring about Imp Catcher is when you'll get the white bead. That's the problem, though. I'm always caring about Imp Catcher. Even when I'm not actively doing the quest. Even on accounts where I've already completed the quest. I'm always caring about those damn imps and their damn beads. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always thinking about Imp Catcher. It's the funniest fucking quest in the game to me. One of them, I suppose. Basically, I am hopelessly... De I am hopelessly dependent on the <laughs> on the imp. <laughs> Took a while to get that out because my brain's not working. I'm tired. Oh, I'm thinking about those beads. What are other good places to get food in Montreal? Um, fucking Schwartz is an, is an institution for smoked meat. Go there if you want smoked meat. That's a good fucking Jewish delicatessen. Recommend it, recommend it. Keeping watch over the northern regions. Hello. What's up? Why do you stand here? This is the northernmost reach of Koren. Beyond these cliffs you'll find the doors of Din and the prison of the Winter Toad. The pyromancers do what they can to keep the Winter Toad contained, but I fear it will not be enough. I come here to keep watch whenever my time permits, so the city may be warned if the Winter Toad escapes. 
Funny it's called Imp Catcher. Don't think you captured any of those imps. No, they also named it that before they added the hunting skill and the ability to actually capture imps. <laughs> you tried latkes for the first time? Fuck yeah. Ooh, Can't remember the last time I had a fucking latka. Me either. Okay, thanks for telling me about the winter toad. What's this dead mushrooms here? You know very little of such circles, Traveler. Perhaps one day we will have more to discuss. <laughs> and don't worry about it, Traveler. Goodbye! <laughs> so this is where... Uh, don't worry, smile. So this is where Winter Toad is. Winter Toad is... Here's a minigame that retroactively justifies the existence of fire making as a skill. The code for that mushroom is sis? Man. I don't want to fucking teleport here ever. Fuck that. Game's fucking bad. I'm uninstalling. Dark Crystal. Game fucking sucks. I go to bed. I hope none of these skeletons come out and attack me. I hope none of these skeletons reach over and attack me. Oh, I was actually kind of hoping one of these skeletons would... Reach over and attack me. <laughs> it would have been. Yeah, I, I kind of caught that as the thing. Did did you did you maybe get a feeling that I was hoping for that because it would be funny? <laughs> you have to spend fifty k gold to unlock the cis mushroom. Fucking of course you do. I ain't get no respect out here as a trans woman. I get no no fucking respect. No, they're, they're calling me the transgender Rodney Dangerfield. I ain't got no respect around here. <laughs> this is my gimmick that I'm going super hard into that's going to alienate all of my audience. I hope you like it, or don't. <laughs> uh, the magics of the Dark Altar. What is this place? The Dark Altar is the treasure of Arceus. Our forebears spent their lives, literally in some cases, learning to unlock its secrets and wield its powers. The power of the Dark Altar reflected in these great crystals can twist dimensions, warp minds, and even bridge the gulf between life and death. Can I try it myself? No. Come back with 60% favor and you can do anything you want with our dark wizardry. And please don't bring any fucking weird orbs here. You sell souvenirs? This is a site of unimaginable power, not a gift shop. Maybe if you had 100% favor, you could have a souvenir. <laughs> Which is really fucking funny dialogue. Can I have an Ash Sanctifier? You need to complete all the hard tasks in your Kurand and Kebos Achievement Diary. I wonder what that does. I sacrificed trophy heads on the altar. I believe the Dark Altar may even reward you for such a sacrifice. Thanks. Oh, this is where you bring in sold heads, is it? Interesting. Well, I'm unworthy to approach the altar, but I'm worthy enough to activate a mysterious orb. It shatters! Ah! You hear a whisper. We should be warned about these things earlier. I do like the way this place looks. I am a sucker for a big old fucking crystal. It's a video game ass video game environment, and I'm always a I'm always a sucker for it. I almost said I'm almost I'm always a patsy for it, but I don't think that's quite what the word patsy means. I don't actually know what it means. I should be more careful about saying words where I don't know what they mean. This might be another snuff film situation for all I know. Oh, honey. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny way to describe porn. No. It's not. It's it's not! <laughs> I am also always a chump for this place. <laughs> yeah, it really means something else. Yeah, I know that now. I've known that now for like months. <laughs> I didn't a while back. I just bring it up anytime it's even slightly relevant because it's really fucking funny in retrospect. It is, is the problem. <laughs> Listen, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Exactly. I mean, clowns, I guess. 
Uh, and me, because I'm your wife. Well, I like laughing at you when you say funny things, but that's more laughing with you. Yeah. You're my wife and I love you. I love you. I love you. Well! What do you mean, well? I was just thinking, you do also like to laugh when funny Mega Man at me. Oh. I thought that well was in reference to us saying I love you, and I was like, what? No, no, I love you forever. Is something really bad going to happen to our relationship on a fucking RuneScape stream? No, you're just pointing out the fact that I like when you make me slide with my dog like I'm Mega Man. Listen, listen. You know I was never book smart. I'm money smart. It makes me more intelligent. <laughs> They're calling I do you. Love you forever. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I love you too, hon. I love you so much. Thank you for putting up with me even when I can't stop quoting fucking J Easy Mega Man at you, even though I know it fucking tortures you. I love you, honey. I'm basically <laughs> making the imps at the mall. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> what? Catching the imps at the mall. <laughs> Bro, don't worry. Imp catcher drops January seventh. Listen. <laughs> I was never magic smart. I'm money smart. Must <laughs> be more intelligent. <laughs> Call me Mr. God Wars Dungeon. I got hella bandos. <laughs> Mario Party for your relationship to become jeopardized, please stay tuned for a really fun stream we want to do at some point. Please. We literally almost did it when I was in California and then like the timing didn't work out. But like <laughs> an inadvisable Mario Party stream is already a thing I have committed to at some point soon. And when telling me this bad idea my, my wife telling me this bad idea. My response was, oh, honey, I want to do that. I know. <laughs> Listen, hon, it's just like fucking yick. You don't have to do this to yourself, but I know you're committed. <laughs> no, 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 smallest turtle. I won't be at divorce stream. Don't worry about it. That, that's a different stream. <laughs> divorce stream is a different thing that's also happening. Hello Donna again. Camp <laughs> Fun sentence for me to say. I can't wait for divorce stream. I can't wait to be able to talk about divorce stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was also a subathon goal. Divorce stream is not the final Holly stream. I can tell you that with confidence. Let's talk about your fucking client. Dude, I'm fucking fed up. Your damn balls are exploding on me. What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. I haven't spoken with you since bringing you to Korra, and I have no idea what you're on about- <laughs> This isn't funny, man. Are you good? I did everything you asked me to do. Your client asked me to do it. Look at my normal blue text. Girl, look at my normal text. Hey, hello? Fios? You've done well. For that, you have my thanks. Who are you? What the fuck did you do with Vios? You need not fear for him. I will ensure no harm comes his way. As for who I am, well, that is of no importance. I have a right to know. Knowledge can be a curse. Sometimes it is better to remain unaware. Now, time to release this mind back to consciousness. Don't worry, I'll make sure he rewards you. After all, you've been very useful to me. Uh-oh. I don't know what any of that means, but it's quite scary. Hey man, are you are you good? Are you good? There's no dialogue option for hey man, are you good? Nothing, thanks. <laughs> Haven't watched well, anyone. Well, that's none of my business. 
Haven't watched anyone play RuneScape until this stream, and you're so pleasantly surprised by how charming the dialogue is. It extremely feels like a late 90s, early 2000s, like, point-and-click adventure game, and I'm so delighted by it every time. It's so good. N nothing, thanks. Alright, well, got a favor certificate. I'm gonna use it for Arceus, because that seems right. Yeah. Thanks. We've got 20%. Let's see, what can we do for Arceus? We can access the rune and staff shops. We can seek dark knowledge. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure thing, man. We can plow the damn fields. Charcoal, Sulfur, and Dynamite, and Luvikinj. We can do the Fishing Nets, and Piscarilius, and Shazian, we can heal soldiers. Enemy soldiers! At 100%, we can fight the Lizardmen. Awesome. This character- this game already has a character that's just a talking skull? Yeah, and he's a fucking mailman! Can you take me somewhere? I wanna go to- where the fuck is Land's End? Hey, where the fuck is Land's End? Yeah, Bloody Bacon, I know about the- the- the different, um, spell books and stuff. Nowhere be able- nowhere near able being- nowhere near being able to really take advantage of any of them, because my magic level is fucking one. <laughs> What the fuck is this place? I've never been here before. The music is nice. Where are we? Oh, it's literally just south. Okay. I can just fucking come back here. I'm leaving. Wait! Bob Ross! Damn, Bob Ross is here. Hey, man. Also, uh, I guess just for the sake of in the future, you don't you, you don't gotta tell me stuff about this video game. I like figuring stuff out. I like learning new things on my own. You don't gotta tell me. Oh yeah, by the way, you can do this, 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 and this, and you should rush this, 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 and this. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> it's fun to figure it out. He's, he's just doing a quote at me. Okay. Thanks, man. Well, it was great seeing you. I like that he gets a little cape. Yeah, I can look up stuff on the wiki if I want. I know this is a fucking wiki-ass game to some extent, but, like, also... It's been a lot of fun not really looking at it. And, like, all this membership stuff being new to me. I mean, Port Serum. Because I, like, have not done any of this ever, basically. I was exclusively free to play as a kid. There's an imp here. There is an imp here. Now, I'm not expecting anything, but it would be funny if, uh... What is the 99 fire-making stream? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Thank <laughs> you, fans be like... My my main goal, insofar as I have a goal on this account, is just to do all the quests. And then, you know, from there I'll do whatever. Yeah, I like doing collection log stuff. Doing diary stuff. So that'll be fun, eventually. No fucking way. Is that the last one I needed? Is that- there's a bank right here, we can check. Is that- <laughs> Come on, man. No, I don't remember if I'm remembering the colors right. No, no Only fucking way, way to dude. find out. Come on, man. No way. No way. I said it would be really funny, but it wasn't happening.
No fucking way, dude. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> Dude, is that the fucking streamer who beat uh, Impcatcher on an Iron Man account in two streams? In three streams? In two streams? In one stream? Is that the is that the fucking gamer who beat Impcatcher, the hardest quest in the entire RuneScape history? As a side gig, like it was nothing? Is that her? Is that the famous streamer, Hollow underscore Tones, who did that? It couldn't be her, could it? We couldn't be in the presence of a fucking gamer god, could we? They're calling her the Queen of RuneScape. There's no way this is actually her, is it? No way. No way. No way. Right? Couldn't be, could it? I fucking forgot it just gives you a shitty amulet of accuracy. I forgot that's the reward for it, isn't it? <laughs> Here's your damn beads. Here's your damn beads. I got all four beads. It was really fucking easy, man. I can tell you that. It was no problem at all. Give them here and I'll check that they really are my beads. Before I give you your reward. You'll like it, it's an amulet of accuracy. I got a T-pose at him, hang on. That's so cool! And we get magic XP, nice! My magic level is now 8. They're basically calling me the Queen of the Wizards. It's not shitty, really? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this shit. It's an orange circle. Compare it to my damn skull? That's nothing. That's nothing. Orange is a good color. But that's nothing. You don't understand nothing. You don't understand nothing. Try to hurt the wizard every time you see him. I don't give a shit about your combat triangle. I gotta go. I give I a I give a bit of a shit about your combat triangle. We need to leave. <laughs> it's really death clues. Good fucking stream. Good fucking stream. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back there with a bow and arrow one day and it's gonna be really goddamn funny. Ah, uh, my fucking quests, dude. Let's see. What do you need for Death Plateau? I've never done Death Plateau. I'll find that at some- I'm not doing that tonight. I gotta wrap up. I gotta go to fucking... Varrock. I gotta go to fucking Varrock. Also, uh. Oh no, right, it's under intermediate, isn't it? The fucking. Vampire Slayer. What does it recommend for that again? Uh. Combat level 20, okay. I'll, I'll worry, I'll fuss about that some other time. Can we do Dragon Slayer? I don't have that shit unlocked, no! <laughs> At some point, yeah! That wizard didn't even know I gained seven magic levels from handing in four different colored beads. They have no fucking idea who they're messing with. They have no idea that it's THE God Gamer. RTVS Holly, who collected those damn beads. All by herself. No trading. No help. Like it was nothing. She's basically done the hardest thing in the whole game, and she's kind of the best at it now. 
fuck with me. Who here will fuck with me on this Monday night? Tuesday morning. This time zone shit ain't nothing to me, man. Can I even go around this way? I don't think so. I'll try. I'll try. Maybe I can scooch on by? Maybe? This one single tile? Help! Let's go. Let's go. She's basically the genius of RuneScape. And she's gonna go get the gay clothes. Can't believe Puzz isn't here to say me, me. What do you mean? She's right here. That's me. <laughs> We're blowing the Lord's molten glass. <laughs> this shit ain't nothing to me, man. I will anti-PK you. Drain or flow. Hey, Gilbert. Hey, Gilbert. Hey. Do I have a flower crown? Thank you. I will wear them with pride. Okay. We sure will. Change style. Lesbian. Where? Best in slot. Best in slot key required. Change style. You know what? I'll just keep it normal pride. Actually, no. I like the color on the lesbian one. Best in slot. Hey, bro. Yeah. Can I have a rainbow jumper? Yeah. <laughs> Love is a bit precious about how I handle her things. You know how it is. Alright. New style? One strand. New best in slot. New best in slot. Yo, thank you, Gutstosis, for the raid. Listen! <laughs> I was never book smart or money smart. Makes me more intelligent. Call me Mr. Rock Festival. I got hella bands. Shorty cute and her circle too. Told her bring a friend. She gonna make me slide with my dog like a mega man. I need you all to know every time I fucking recite this song to my partner, uh, it sends her directly to hell. She hates it. And she's on call with me right now. Yeah, hi. Hi, honey. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you, Dither, for the raid. <laughs> Two in a row. Oh, we are <laughs> about to wrap up. But I got, I got, the, I got the outfit. She busts that out. L listen, listen. <laughs> you gotta understand. I, unfortunately, love teasing my partner, <laughs> and so. I've become not the fanboy and chum chum one again. I was never book smart, I'm money smart. Makes me more intelligent. Call me Mr. Rock Festival. I got hella bands. Shut a cute in a circle too. I told her bring a friend. Yeah, that one. I don't have more of that memorized, unfortunately. <laughs> the meadow's looking lovely today. I know. It didn't always look like this. It used to be dull and gray. Dull and gray? How'd it become so colorful? An adventurer came along and helped me out. We cast a magic spell using flower seeds and it created this lovely sunburst. Oh, I'd like to have seen that spell. It sounds impressive. It was. The news traveled far. I've been getting lots of visitors. Many flower traders from across the lands have paid the meadow a visit. I've even traded with a few for some new flower seeds of different colors. New flower seeds? What types? Well, as you may have noticed, you can change the colors of the flowers on your flower crown now. As, as I have done. Smile. Turns out the spell I cast was more powerful than I first thought. So powerful it made eight new colorations, all as beautiful as the first. Oh, that's cute. That's amazing. And all because we wanted a little splash of color. Don't underestimate the power of a little splash of color. <laughs> I'll make sure not to. Cute. I don't think I've ever actually just talked to this NPC before. 
anything happening around here? Lots of things. It's been pretty busy. There was even a huge colorful parade with thousands of people, and they chose this meadow as the starting place. Really? That's cool. What made it colorful? Everyone turned up in colorful outfits. It was like a sea of rainbows. So many flower crowns, too. I was a bit worried the large pile I'd made of them would go to waste, but in the end I almost ran out. Sounds like a nice problem to have. Will you be making more for the next parade they do? The next parade? I'm sure they'll do another one. If so many people turned up, it must have been a great success. Why wouldn't they want to do it again? That's a good point. Make sure to get- I'll, I'm, I'll get to making some more right away. Maybe it'll become a yearly thing. A chance to show off some color and, of course, your fancy flower crowns to all Gilinor. Sounds good to me. Gives me time to get lots of made in advance. Well, I got some fucking work to do, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> cute. That's cute. That's fun. I'm glad that you can just, like, nab these whenever instead of having to wait till, like, fucking June or whatever to get your, uh, your flags. Yeah. That's sweet. That's sweet. I was worried I was going to be locked out of it because I talked to the fucking toy man in Toy World and he was like, No, I don't got any pride stuff for you. Sorry. And I was like, But... But I want it. But I want it. But... But I want it. You thought the little guy was just rainbow colored because rainbows are fun. You didn't really realize it was actually hella gay for real. Yeah, it's, it's the dedicated, like, pride, uh... Vendor. They love him. They straight up love him. Yeah. This dude's getting fucking bopped trying to steal from these guards. Good on ya. <laughs> Sorry about getting bopped, though. Feel better soon. Down we go. The sweater is very cute. Yeah. I do think you should adopt this style for real. Big, big, cozy jumper and armor on the bottom. Listen. Armor's a little expensive. That's true. Armor's a little outside my price range. Okay, we gotta talk to Charbles the Tump. Please, miss, can you help me? What can I do for you? I really need some leather chaps. Sure, I'll be glad to help a person in need. All right. Leather chaps... Okay, we can craft that, right? Ooh, armor. Leather chaps is... 18! I guess next stream we're doing crafting! <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for this stream! <laughs> forward to tomorrow question mark uh when i activate kill a lot of cows alert and get on get on that leather lifestyle that probably has some other connotations not bad connotations in this case but <laughs> <laughs> thank you seven name sam for that 16 month Hi, resub here. uh well we're um ending the stream now so love the swag i got going on right now thank you i have been f trying to figure out how to get this shit and only today i realized oh no you just go talk to this funny gnome who's like all the way over on the on the west this is this is not a gnome this is just a guy but i got it from a gnome and it's very cute um you can change the color of the the crown and the sweater and the scarf uh, and I really like the way the, the trans flag looks on the sweater specifically. It's a cute look. It's a cute look. I am just straight up wearing, uh, like, armored leggings and fucking <laughs> hardcore brutal gnome boots. But it's a fucking look. You gotta agree. <laughs> it's really good. Yippee! Yahoo! Jumping for joy! Flapping my damn arms like a fucking bird! Dude, here's an idea. Logging out of Old School RuneScape for the day. 
that's gonna be it for Runescape. I hope you all enjoyed. I sure did. These have, these, these have been a fun, low energy type of stream to do while I'm trying to, you know, get myself feeling better and able to do other things again. But uh, in the meantime, I'm certainly enjoying myself and I hope y'all are too. Uh, we do have a bit of fan art to show off. So I'm gonna do that. Also gonna screen share the music with my partner so she can listen to the music if she wants to. There we go. Thank you very much for a lovely stream. Well, thank you for tuning in. These streams would not be as lovely as they are without folks like y'all tuning in. So thank you for, thanks for stopping on by. Let's, uh, let's look at a bit of fan art. Yeah. Let's look at a bit of fan art. There's some, there's some cute stuff tonight. We got this one from Sign, which I have to admit, I did see on a break when I got and stood up earlier, and I did just kind of, <laughs> kind of lose my shit a little. <laughs> I cannot emphasize enough how much this is really how it be. No, this this really is the height difference, in fact. <laughs> like, I, we, we, we gotta get in on fucking watching Trigun together at some point, huh? Trigun's a lot of fun. Oh, we do. Uh, but like... This is a little bit kind of our dynamic as well. Like we, <laughs> I, they they don't let me have a giant stun gun, but <laughs> not yet. What what did, what, did... what did she mean by this? <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Every time I see art from my friend sign, I clap my hands and smile so wide. But this it's one good, is good. It's good. It's good. But this one especially makes me very happy. Thank you so much, my friend. This is from Lettuce Vervain. <laughs> right? The fucking, the fucking tent, the story I was trying to tell about <laughs> fucking puppets. And I was just like, oh, I love my wife. My life is great. My wife is awesome. I love her. She's so smart. She's so pretty. She's so cool. What the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> this really is how it be, just in general. <laughs> when I'm trying to think. This is very cute, thank you. And this one here from Unofficially Jam. <laughs> hey, yo! Have you seen uh, one of the ones he posted recently where just like one of his friends is just eating a fucking hot dog in like a food court and he jumps on the table and goes, hey, yo, and kicks the hot dog out of their hands and then starts singing. <laughs> <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this! He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> I'm gonna make him slide with his dog like he's Mega Man if you catch my drift. <laughs> this is awesome, thank you. <laughs> Mega Man drops January 7th. Listen! That's the end of stream. <laughs> hey, I hope you liked it. I'm a little wiped out because it's one in the morning. So oh I am- God, it really is. I am straight up gonna turn off the damn stream, say a nice goodnight to my fucking wife, and then like fall on top of my bed and become a fucking brick for a couple hours. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for all the subs and the tips and the bits. You've all been quite generous to me tonight, and I do very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I, since getting back from my September trip, I feel kind of like I've got a fire lit in me as far as, like, actually getting moving with moving plans. And, you know, unfortunately, moving costs fucking money and all that. So, uh, having folks, you know turn out and support the streams makes the whole putting money together to get a little war chest for moving in supplies and stuff uh, a little easier to, to think about and manage so thank you all very much for that it's very appreciated uh, thank you as well for all the follows we had today for all the new folks who came and stopped on by and had a good time it's always wonderful to see you uh, for all the raids that we had today because there was quite a few thanks for Thanks for stopping on by and sharing your communities with me and all that. Uh, thank you again for all the wonderful fan art. And thank you all very much for tuning in. No matter when, where, how you catch these streams, whether you're 
just catching a bit, watching the whole thing. Uh, you're you're lurking or you're chatting away. You're catching this live or watching the VOD. It's always wonderful to have you here, so thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. Probably live tomorrow. I don't know when. I haven't been committing much to schedules lately just because my energy's been up and down, on and off, low in general. Uh, so I would feel a little bad being going like, yeah, I'm going to stream definitely this day and this day and this day, and then I just don't have it in me. But I want to try and ease myself back into it. So hopefully tomorrow. Maybe not, but hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and it'll be... Let's be real, probably more RuneScape. But... I might also try and do a bit more Dracula in the morning. I might try and do some more Dracula soon. I've been wanting to get back to Dracula. I've been missing Dracula. Oh, oh, oh Dracula moments. Thanks for supporting you through your essay you've been writing. Hey, hell yeah! Uh, these, these streams are a hell of a lot of fun for, you know, folks getting work done and... It, it makes me happy anytime folks are like, yeah, yeah, I was, I was hanging out and chilling and I was getting stuff done and it was fun, it was fun listening while I did. That makes me smile, it does. So thanks for hanging out. Lesbian game two? What? What, what lesbian game? <laughs> what? You'll have to be more specific, that's all the games we play. Elaborate. <laughs> Any game I play with my wife is a lesbian game, but you can be more specific. <laughs> If there's a specific thing you're thinking about. Do you mean Super Lesbian Animal RPG? We finished that months ago. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was awesome. I loved it. I cried. But we we did very much finish it ages ago. Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your, your evening. Uh, make sure you're... Taking care of yourselves and taking care of the folks around you. And I hope we see you again soon. Bye-bye. Good night.